Yes, thank you very much, you who is watching us. We promised you that we will be getting to such a moment, and it has come. I am Sankara Bialuhanga, you are watching AIT TV online, and uh, this session is meant to, you know, determine who is the next big uh, presenter, both radio and TV, in Western Uganda. I have my counterpart, uh, Ndugu uh, Ronald Tushabe. We are common suspects uh, in whatever crime you think we've ever, uh, you know, committed. I don't know if you have something for someone watching us. Yes, thank you so much, uh, my colleague Sankara Vyarhangam. Mm. I take this opportunity to welcome everyone here, and uh, this is a big day, like we promised. Mm. It's that day when we are determining the next big TV and radio presenter in the region. And uh, like we have been promising all of you, this is young for young. And we are young people picking the next young man and woman who is going to be on your tele next as, as we move forward. Thank mm. you so much. Wow. Uh, you who is viewing, you also need to know that... Uh, uh, we will be launching like so soon but uh, as we launch the question is who are we starting with uh, w uh, the western region I think has uh, received a desert of uh, some kind of uh, broadcasting platforms especially at the global uh, 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 level do you think this could have affected us and uh, we perhaps boost and say yeah uh, uh, we are bringing a solution uh, uh, all I can say, young people in the region have lacked the platform, all I can say. And uh, we have talents around, but we have not seen someone coming out to give such talents a place where they can be. And I think a hit media, a hit TV, a hit radio are coming in to address that gap that has existed for long. And uh, yeah, probably we're going to see the next big person coming from the region. Okay, yeah, so this means that uh, if you're still out there and you think you can present and all you need is a platform, we are so open as long as the idea really is worth. But why should we let this person viewing wait? I think we should open doors to audition, uh, auditions perhaps. And if you are judging from out there, I want to assure you that uh, there are quite a number of things you can consider. Uh, that uh, uh, you will be able to tell this is a, a good presenter or not. Uh, I would list like confidence, I would list like uh, a passion of someone, the charisma, uh, authenticity, and all that you could name that you would wish to see uh, your presenter having as a quality. I do not know who could be the first on our list. Yes, the first on our list, I don't know if everyone is ready. We have Isabella Kanshave is our first person to audition tonight. Mm. Isabella, here is the floor. Show us what you have. Wow. Oh, yes. Okay, so guys, if this was London, meanwhile, <laughs> we would be clapping. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's okay. You could uh, take this floor over there. Yes. quite seeking clarifications over there. Okay, yeah, uh, it's okay. You, you could take your floor and we'll have the team sort that. Um, you who is viewing, just know that there are several people, you know, <laughs> and several other kind of shows. Now, Isabella here thinks she is going to do interview and she would at least try to demonstrate with at least two chairs on the floor. Now let's see that quick one who could help out. We have our floor set and uh, we have our next big TV host set. Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. We can do chap chap. Yeah, over there. You who is judging from out there and you're viewing, I think uh, you should be able to drop a comment down there telling us 
what you think of Isabella, for example. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, so you're welcome to a Eat TV. Let me now uh, appear like I'm interviewing you, but please, if I score under your level, you will be able to forgive. Now, uh, Isabella, perhaps before we start, we could first tell someone viewing us who you are. We get to know you. Thank you. Okay, um, before I do that, thank you very much. Before I do that, uh, I would like to borrow one of your staff, uh, Miss Jennifer, if you don't mind. Please. I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you. Okay. Thank you very much. So we have two ladies, but you who is watching the lady in blue, I'm sorry I would use the word spaceman. But that is what we are. Yes, let's go ahead. Good morning. I'm Isabella Kanshabe. You, if, you, if, if you don't mind, I'm sorry, you could sort of lower the, ma uh, the, the mask for us to pick your audio very well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Isabella Kanchave. Um, I am pursuing a bachelor's degree in information technology at um, Bar University. And um, I have, of course, gone through high school at uh, Immaculate Heart Girls School. And um, I, um, I, I really, really love interacting with people. And uh, I, am, I love sh socializing. So I hope that this is going to be a really, really nice show. And I'm very glad to be here. Thank you. Today? Um, I am going to be interviewing, and in my imagination, I have one of uh, Uganda's most famous writers, uh, Goreti Tom Hendo, who is a writer. And um, she's written different books, like um, Waiting, and, um, and she's also written The First Daughter. And I am going to be interviewing her about her career and how she's finding this writing world. Yes. Thank you. Um, you're welcome, everyone watching. I am Isabella Kanchave, and this is AIT TV. Um, today I am interviewing one of Uganda's most popular writers and uh, she is none other than Goretti Tom Hendo. You're very welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm very glad to have you here. I'm glad to be hosted, like, honestly. Okay. Uh, could you briefly tell us about yourself, about your career and about anything you probably think would like to know about you because the world is watching and would like to really know about you. Okay, I'm Goretti Chomhendo and I'm a writer. I have released two books so far and I believe they are catching the globe. Yeah, I think that is basically what you can know for now. Okay, okay. I am, um, we are all very interested in how you studied and, and how you came up to be uh, one of the most famous writers here. And I am very much aware that you uh, studied in South Africa and you acquired a scholarship in South Africa. Could you tell us how your experience was and how you found it? Well, when I was in school, I had a target. I didn't come from a well-off family, so I had to read books. I had to focus on my studies. And things f just came together, and I found myself succeeding. I got a scholarship. I really had a story that was pushing me, and it is the one that took me that far. Okay, and you are uh, the writer of this famous story, The First Daughter. What inspired you to write such a story? Uh, when I was in school, I had three friends, best friends, and one of them got pregnant. So she left school, she couldn't continue, and I felt like I could speak to people, I could tell them, I could speak to young female out there, those who couldn't actually come up and face the truth. It is not a sin for you to face some challenges and then let go. 
So, yeah, that is what inspired me to write that book, actually. Um, I have also read some of the other books, like Waiting, and I am wondering what could be the real secret about the first daughter that makes it so famous that everyone would like to read it. I really don't know. I think it was it's time to get out there. I, I wrote. I was inspired a lot, and I wrote. I think it spoke to, it spoke to very many people. People were listening. They were getting attached to the book. And I was surprised, actually, to see how many people followed up, and I'm grateful. We are very proud to have women like you. And also, you are the founder of um, Uganda Women's Writers Association from 1997. How was the experience, and how, um, how, how do you, how were you feeling then, and how do you still feel about this? You know, being a founder, starting up something, and you see it affecting people, it is like a mother giving birth. You, you, you're pregnant, and then you give birth. You see your baby growing up and achieving a lot. That is the feeling I got. Yeah, so up to this day, I'm grateful. Thank you so much. And um, I'd like um, maybe in a few or more words, you could um, talk to our youth watching out there or any other people watching out there. Uh, you could talk to them. Uh, so that they may be uh, maybe empowered and uh, innovative youth in the future, just like you were. Okay, first of all, I thank you for hosting me. I thank AID TV for giving me this platform. And to the youth out there, seriously, if you have a talent, just go for it. If you can write, write. People are going to see it. People are going to feel you. This is one way you can communicate to people. That is what inspires me to write, actually. Yeah. Thank you so much. And we appreciate you uh, coming to our show. Uh, thank you, everyone watching out there. This is AYU TV. I'm Isabella Kanchave. Don't forget to follow us on our f uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you very much. We love you. <laughs>
So if they are able, because some people could be here with you and you have an interview and they're not able to tell you anything, they, they cannot advise anyone and, and this is going to be very difficult for you. So I look at how you're going to deliver and how uh, some people will learn from you. If you have quite a number of things you're going to teach us, then I choose you. Okay. Thank you so much, Isabella. I think she's... Uh, you're welcome. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. And that is how we are doing it. Uh, trust me, you who is watching, you have a, an opportunity to also drop your comment about some of these prospective presenters that we have uh, on board. The next person, I think, uh, is uh, Biaruhanga Mark. Yes? It's okay. Okay. So let's do a chap chap one. Thank you very much, Mark. You're welcome to AIT TV and basically AIT Media. Thanks for welcoming me this this TV. Mm. And I'm glad to be here. First greet someone who is watching. Okay, those who all those who are watching us on AIT TV, I will thank you for watching and we thank you for keeping it here. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh could you tell the viewer who you are? Um, I'm by name of Mark Bialhanga, and I'm a student at Mbari University of Science and Technology, doing Bachelor's of Business Administration, and I'm also working in media. Ah, you're, you're, you're also what? I'm also working in media, in w with one of the media houses in Barara. Could you like tell us more about that? Okay, I host a program. It is called Origendo. It airs on Massey FM. Uh, that is on Saturday from 3 to 4 p.m. Then on Sunday, it airs from 2 to 4 p.m. We talk about different issues ranging from politics, uh, social life, and economic life. Ah. Wow, thank you very much. We are happy to have you here, Mark. Uh, thank you. Uh, which show are you bringing to AIT? Uh, AIT, I'm bringing there a talk show, and we shall be calling it the AIT Desk. A eight desk. The eight desk, yeah. How does that work? Uh, this show, uh, since a eight, it is empower the youth. Uh, we are going to be inviting different youth to share us their their own pers perspective, uh, the way they see things. So we shall always be having a panel, which will be which we are calling a desk, and we shall be having we invite different students, maybe like good students or leader leaders who are youth in our community. And we come here, we invite them, we share, to we share with them, they tell us how they see things in their own perspective and how we, the youth, we can get engaged in different things in our community. Uh, okay, well, I am able to know that uh, you are looking at youths. Uh, maybe what is not clearly defined is what you term as different things. Uh, different things, uh, we the youth, we can get engaged in different things. One, there are youth who, are, who have the passion of getting into media. There are youth who have a passion of getting into politics. There are youth who have a passion of getting into business. So we shall be getting uh, different topics about all those different things. Let's say this weekend we are talking about, or this week we are talking about uh, politics. Then we get youth who feel they want to join politics, and we share with them. They tell us their views on how they want that thing to be done, or what they see in the youth joining the politics. Okay, so you're talking about uh, an opinion kind of show, but limited to youths. You're giving them platform, come and give us your opinion on a particular topic. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's roll. Okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon to everyone, our viewers out there. You're welcome to ATV. This is the 8 disc, our show, which will be pre 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 premiering uh, every afternoon on a Sunday like this. Uh, today, I'm joined by panelists who will be giving us or will be sharing to us uh, different things that they see in the world of politics. Recently, we have been in elections and we have been in the election time. So these people will be telling us how they are seeing or what they found out or what they learned in this election period. I'm Mark Bialhanga, your host, and this is the eight desk. Let us take a breather and we come back with our panelists sharing to us their views. I will come back from that short break.
and here we have our panelists they have been sharing with us what they have been seeing uh, or what they learned in the election period and I think someone out there viewing you have been able to pick there something and get something for today I remain Mark Bialhanga your host and this is ATV keep it a hit desk see you next weekend Thank you very much. You could wait a little bit. I do not know if you have a comment to Ndugu Mark. Yes, thank you so much, Mark. Welcome. Unfortunately, we didn't say demonstration. We might not get to understand how it feels to, to engage yes. a panel. Um, it's because I never had panels here, but what I did, I gave the introduction, then I gave the, re the closing remarks. Can we remarks. do a sample? Can you pick out one person who can act as a panelist? And it's we'll fine. See it's fine. And which topic are you going to choose? We are going to talk about youth involvement in politics. Okay. Yeah. Feel free to pick any person. Anyone can come. <laughs> Lawrence. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon to everyone viewing out there. Uh, this is the 8 TV and we bring to you the 8 desk. I'm Mark Bialhanga, your host, and today I'm joined by different or uh, an individual. He'll be telling us his names and he'll be sharing to us uh, the way he see things, mostly when we go to the politic side. We have been coming from the election period and we want to see how the we, the youth, have been engaged in this, in it, how they do participate in it, so all that will be in here on the 8 desk. So today I'm joined by, uh, let him tell us his names and what he does, then we get into deep into the matters. Thank you. Thank you, we are Hanga Mark. Thank you for hosting me. I am Agawa Lawrence, a student at Bishop Stewart University. I do Bachelor of Commercial Industry of Fine Art, which is BISFAD in short. Thank you for hosting me again. I would not decline your invitation. I'm happy for you hosting me on AUTV. Thank you so much, Lawrence, for uh, appreciating my invite and you make it here. I so we want to know, how do you see politics? Oh, you are the youth. How, when you hear of the word politics, what comes in your mind? Politics to the youth is, it is a passion for most of us. And... Uh, but it comes with very many difficulties at the moment because as youth we have I think we are coming fresh from school and the, that politics has been commercialized it becomes hard for us to enter in politics oh I understand so because of the much commercialization in politics it ends up letting the youth down to in joining politics so to you as a youth what steps could you take or measures since it is commercialized but still you want to get engaged in it? How can you take that path and you say, ah, ah, despite the commercialization, I have to get involved? You see, when you want something, you prepare for it. We have, we have been with people who are fresh from the universities or schools. When you, some of the youth now start politics when they are in the lower levels, you come from primary, like that, like that. Though, then you now engage with the around political parties so that they can support you and you see, then you do something for yourself. Thank you so much. Uh, give us your last words to the people of, out there viewing and a single one word to the youth out there who are watching. Thank you. My last word, I would say, politics is good because we have to build the country together as the youth, in that, you see, Uganda now, the biggest percentage are youth. So when we step out of politics, we will not be able to build the future we want. So it is, I call upon all the youth, come, let us build our country together and for us and for our children. Thank you so much, Lawless, for joining us today on our TV or on 8 Disc. And next week we shall be coming with more people. 
to join this panel as we share much and i hope someone out there has learned something remember to subscribe on our youtube channel that is atv and also like our facebook page or follow it atv see you next week i remain mark bialhanga thank you oh thank you thank you very much uh trust me a hit desk i can't wait that is uh uh after studying how he scored and you who is viewing if you think uh mark is going to be the next big uh show host do you have a comment to mark not now <laughs> well at <laughs> least let's, let's have at thing least thing. the name of the show was a hit desk <laughs> <laughs> okay that is some um, playing i don't know you must have been good at playing cards huh? um who is next uh, mathias hirda yes another madam okay yes uh thank you thank you very much madam mutesi thank you too for Your having me You're welcome to a eat media. Greet someone who is watching us. Good afternoon everyone. Uh thank you for tuning in this afternoon. We are glad to have you and for always choosing us at this particular time and for always taking your time off just to listen to us. My name is Mutes Hilda and I'm going to be your host for today's afternoon on our program that is starting today which we shall be calling the trending business wow thank you very much once again now at least the viewer gets the feel of what you will be doing but before that who is mutesi thank you very much um mutes is uh, a lady as you see who believes in focus and uh, self motivation she's currently working uh, with ICA life assurance and uh, wanting to impact youth out there who may not have the opportunity to grow or who may think they are belittled to grow themselves but who we'll give them faith that from scratch you can get to grace yeah that is me well are uh, you is viewing uh, that is uh, mutesi for you and i can't wait what she has for us let's wait no more let's roll thank you very much um As in the introduction, I'll be taking you through uh, what we call the trending business. Our country profiles a lot of things every day, every now and then, and um, youth contribution is always low or at a minimal basis. Our opinion polls to us are very little. Our expression is very little. As my focus is to grow each and every youth out there, give them a platform to be able to engage themselves and contribute to them. nation's growth. Uh so today uh since we are talking of what is trending, uh we shall start with what has been making news all week through and that has been the COVID-19 vaccine. So I'm going to call upon our uh, one youth out there to come and give us their say about the COVID-19 vaccine. We've seen very many videos especially about the Minister of Health being injected whether it was a true injection or if it wasn't. Let's hear. Let's give you platform to express yourself. Would you take up the vaccine or you wouldn't? Uh after the break we shall have that youth in the house. Stay tuned. Okay. Trust me. Uh we assume we're in break. You're coming back on air or you're done? So can you pick one? Hey, thank you very much for your viewers. I uh, will come back for that break. Um and this show will always uh, stream after our news so that we will always have a bulletin we'll always have what has been trending what is there 
uh, as I promised uh, to have a youth to say something about the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, so, sir, you're very welcome. Please introduce yourself to our viewers. Uh, thank you, uh, the host tonight. Uh, my name is Weasley, and uh, my computer says student. Uh, the, yes, the news of uh, about the COVID-19 vaccine is in, and we have the vaccine within the country. But um, we've been in a pandemic, and I don't know whether this is our moment to be saved or our moment to be doomed. <laughs> yes. So do you feel the vaccine has come in at the right time or it's late or it's too early? Uh, depending on what we've lost uh, because of the pandemic, I would think it is the right time. But again, as, as someone who knows about things to do with the medical field, uh, this is just one year with a very deadly virus. And then the vaccine is in within just one year. So as an individual, I'm trying to question how efficient uh, the vaccine is and also look at the side effects of the vaccine. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Being that it wasn't uh, Uganda innovated, do you believe as Ugandans we still have the chance in the near future for any pandemic to be able to find solution for ourselves or we shall always have to depend on other countries to provide? Uh, well, that remains a subject of debate. Uh, we were told time and again that we had our own scientists uh, come at Makere University trying to develop a vaccine or more of a drug to combat the pandemic. And then at the end of the day, we've, uh, we saw uh, planes flying into the country with the foreign vaccine. However, all hope is not lost. That means our scientists can learn from this. And perhaps when we are faced with the same thing, we can have uh, our own vaccine instead of importing in a foreign one. But also it goes to the time, the timing. The, uh, the pandemic came in, it's just been one year. And let's say uh, the foreign scientists were able to have that time, utilize that short time to have the vaccine and maybe because of our infrastructure and resources, we could take about two years. So maybe there is still hope that our scientists would rise to the occasion. Hey, um, thank you very much, sir. And thank you for uh, taking in time to spare time for us and inspire youth out there. So as he says, please take up the vaccine. Uh, it's good for you. And in the near future, we can create our own. We always have the power to change. Our media platforms are on the screen below, so you can follow us on Twitter, uh, on Facebook, and we shall always come your way at this time. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Mrs. Uh, maybe one one. What else can you do on TV apart from presenting? Uh, maybe I can uh, do a design, a uh, costume design, uh, okay. majorly for our presenters. Okay. Yeah, and also a uh, screenplay or um, rolling out uh, the design of the the stage and all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, wh which course did you do? I'm basically an insurance person. So you did BBA or something? Insurance. You did Advanced insurance. insurance, yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, what brings in media from the um, foreign side? Okay. Um, I've always had passion to present. Uh, if you are to look what I'd requested for, I'm also so much interested in two news anchoring. So presenting anything is passion. Okay. Yeah, for me. Yes, thank you so much, Mutese. All the best. watching you are able to tell uh, what she is able to achieve as the next big presenter for you. <laughs> 
when I look at Africa, many questions come to mind. We need to remain within the limit of five minutes. So when we come here, we'll have at least two minutes of interaction with you and three minutes are yours. So when you prolong the, the whole thing, uh, I do not know. It might play against us. Huh? Okay, that is not true, but let's mind about time. Yes? Okay. Yeah, who's next? Next on stage is Acheng Monique. Acheng Monique. Opio. Yes. That must be Luo. Uh, the last time I checked, <laughs> that's some uh, kind of group people that really treasure what they are able to accomplish. And uh, we can't wait also. You're welcome, Madam Monica. Thank you so much. Say hi to someone viewing us. Hello, viewers. Uh, this is Acheng Monica Opio, your host for today at UTV. Wow. She is your host, trust me. We already know that at least. Who is this host? Well, uh, as I said before, I'm Acheng Monica Opio. I just finished campus at Mara University. Um, I'm a self-driven person. I love innovations and uh, I love people who love innovations and uh, I love being in front of the camera, looking ah. at the viewers and talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, uh, in the Bible, I think this is where they say we have a third eye. And she looks into the camera and she's able to see the viewers. That is so much interesting. But uh, yes, and um, you are just one step away from being in this camera so often. What are you bringing for us? Well, my dear viewers, uh, what I have in mind for you is uh, an innovation table. This I mean, I host the different innovators be it you're an artist, be it you're a programmer, whatever kind of thing you've put in place which is new and uh, people are able to see you on board. This is something I really want to start bringing up. So, thank you so much, Monica. So let's do it practically. In this room, we have young people who are doing innovations. I hope you know that. This is Empire Youth in Technology. Just pick any innovator you know around. I'm going to give you an example. We have Henry behind the camera who has innovated this whole thing we are in. Eh? He's an innovator and you know ETV online is an innovation. Engage him and see how we can get the feel of the show. Uh, the he has to come here or probably go to the field and find people wherever they are working from. Okay, for now, since we have viewers online and they have to know whatever is going on, whatever is new, so I'm inviting one innovator, Henry, please. Uh, uh, let, let Henry remain behind the camera. I thought you would find him here. The other innovator is Sankara. Please engage Sankara. He's also an innovator behind AIT TV. Okay, let's have Sankara on board. I, I, I to know. It, so it's, it's another talk show? We're in studio or I'm in field busy doing my stuff? Okay, let's put it that we are all in the field and I meet you, I engage you, and then we see what's new, what's cooking up. Ah, yeah. that is yes. very good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm a CEO, um, we run a... Uh, I don't know, <laughs> mm -hmm. but at least I have a startup that I'm running. Wow. So, I don't know. They guided that you find me in my office, so I'm actually waiting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that perfectly works. Uh huh. Mm. So, viewers, tonight. We have one innovator on board, and we have something amazing to show you guys tonight. We have Mr. Sankara, and uh, 
He's with us tonight. He has a lot to tell you. So, Mr. Sankara, you're welcome. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad to be on EAT TV. I've been hearing about it. You guys are doing something great. Uh, and thank you for recognizing uh, the efforts of uh, follow-up. And I'm glad that I, be, I will be able to talk to the world. You're welcome. So we have the viewers, they would like to know whichever new thing that you have come up with, any new innovation, any plans, any exciting news for us, for the viewers. You never know what may come up. Well, thank you very much. For starters, I am Sankara Vialuhanga. Uh, we do, we have an innovation called Follow Up. Follow Up is a mobile platform to help pregnant mothers uh, in uh, making sure they go through whatever health attention they may need because recently the nation was hit by uh, shocking statistics that at least 60% of these mothers do not receive uh, at natal care and those who try at least 40% out of these are not going to come back or finish all the steps and this mobile app that we have here is meant to keep reminding this pregnant mother that they still have to go back to the hospital so I think that is what we are currently working on and I'm glad that we are telling the story to, to the world Wow Thank you so much Mr. Sankara Please viewers go and Google Play download this app. It is good for the pregnant women and uh, it works perfectly. Thank you so much, Mr. Sankara. And thank you, our dear view viewers. Please always keep tuned and watch AET for more updates, more news, and all that you really want to know. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Opio. Yes, it's quite a good show. I would be really your viewer. Uh, maybe what I would want to understand from you is it a studio based show or a field based show? Okay, it works on both ways. Okay. I can invite someone to the studio and they showcase their work if it's a tangible thing and if it's something they can carry. But if it's not, I have to move to the field and viewers, whatever the person is doing, whatever is new. Uh, in your opinion, what's the best according to the nature of the show you're proposing? And in your opini opinion, studio and field, what is the best for you? The best for me is the field. The field. Yeah, because you tend to meet a lot more than just being in one place. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am going to give you one more task. I want you to stand, look around, assume all these are innovators, and probably it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's like an exhibition. People are exhibiting different innovations. Eh? Assume, be like you're reporting what is taking place. This one is this, this one is Be like, give us that, that, that feel. You're really, you have gone past the time, but let's understand that. Assume these are all innovators. And they are because everyone here has innovation really is more like a cre creativity. And everyone here is an innovator because they have something that have come to show us. Eh? Try to engage them in that line and we see. Make it so interactive. Uh, so here, viewers, we are at AE TV and uh, we have the different innovators today with us. Uh, here, we have the team which has innovated one of the most exciting things. We have an art piece. Please, would like you to tell us more about your art piece. Yes, thank you. My name is uh, Karanga Steven. Uh, we've tried to come up with um, an art piece. Yes, uh, we have come up with uh, an art piece 
of which all of you viewers can see and uh, though not yet complete but uh, we are trying to finish it up so that it is working and uh, complete okay thank you so much Stephen uh, as you can see the art piece it is really amazing viewers it is so amazing you don't want to miss this uh, we'll have to send him his details so that you can contact him right away if you need any art piece thank you so much Thank you so much, uh, Monica. Uh, what else can you do on TV apart from presenting? Well, I can be a news hunker. No, uh, or that is uh, one set. Can you do video editing? Can you do camera? Can you? Yeah, I can do graphics. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Monica. All the best you can go back. I missed learning how you say how I want to do all. This is not the only uh, opportunity that I had. <clears throat> so jolly, uh, charisma, what? <laughs> but it is all fine. Maybe we could uh, see who is coming next. Yes, Karuhanga Steven. Ah, the popular artist. Okay. Thank you, Ndugu uh, Karuhanga. Thank you. Stephen, we have five minutes, and we are so optimistic. We think it is going to be within that limit. You're welcome. Say hi to the viewer. Thank you once again. My name is Karanga Stephen, a fresh graduate from Mbara University of Science and Technology, having done bachelor's degree of information technology. So... Thank you guys, uh, the audience, for making it a hit TV. And uh, this time I bring you the entertainment. What do I mean? I mean, we are going to dance the best tunes. Uh, we got to see the gospel, what is trending around the music industry. And we got to wish the birthday wishes to our friends, guys. Uh, I know. We youth, we have got some talent and people behind there. So we have to bring them closer so that they extract their talent. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Steven. You're talking uh, entertainment. Yes. Okay. Before we get entertainment, before we dance, like you're promising, who is Steven? Uh, thank you once again. Karanga Steven. Just campus, and uh, Steve is a good man. Steve loves entertainment, and uh, he cooperates. Uh, like I said, entertainment includes. Uh, okay, this show includes requesting for your favorite songs. Uh, you got to wish your birthday wishes. Uh, we have entertainment gossip uh, without forgetting uh, dance challenges. Okay. Let's, let's, you have something to say first? So have you finished presenting the show or you're just starting? I'm just starting. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I, I, I am too practical, you'll forgive me. So entertainment show, probably here, we, we're going to have that fear of uh, club bang or music and all that, yeah? So Brian is your DJ. Brian, please be a DJ. You're on the camera? Yes. Bro, this okay, uh, when we are on TV, we assume these ones are not around. People, the audience is not the really physical uh, uh, present. Eh? Yes. So Brian is your DJ. Please, you have the microphone, present entertainment show. You can if, you, you can stand because this does not need us to be relaxed. Eh? And you want you have to make us feel energized. Thank you, entertainment, my DJ, my DJ, play the tune, my baby madam. Uh, 
Omukwano go guliwano. Baby guliwano. Omukwano go guliwano. Wano. Guliwano. Omukwano go guliwano. Baby guliwano. Omukwano go guliwano. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, my DJ. Thank you, my DJ. You can take up your seat. Uh, unfortunately, you did not uh, engage us, probably the audience, and what all you did was for us, which was good. But I don't know how engaging you could be to make sure we feel we have a presenter, not a musician, uh, my ming or what. Oh, it's because I had a mic. Otherwise, I would have not uh, put much of my effort on the mic. Mm. You know, as I'm presenting, I may not be having the mic holding it like this. Yes. How do you do it? So my show is like it, it will be like this. Mm. Uh, I'm in a studio. So entertainment you they request for a song. Mm. Maybe someone can call mm. all all WhatsApp mess WhatsApp message. Mm. Request for a song uh, a song and I pray it. Okay. Yes. Uh, and if we are to request for a song, it has to be you guiding us or engaging us to request for our favorite songs. Yeah. So and I think you didn't do it. I did. I I, I had just started. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, we couldn't wait. Yeah, we are running. But yeah, that was good. Thank you so much. What else can you do apart from presenting entertainment show? I can also be behind the camera like he's doing. Okay. Uh, I can be a news anchor. I can to collect news all of them okay thank you so much um steven thank you you can take up your seat action packed individual Next on the Singuire Darius. Yes, Darius. Okay. Yeah, you can have. It's okay. You you can have a seat. Then we see. Okay, yeah, you always viewing, uh, trust me, uh, auditions involve so much. Now, uh, coming next on the floor, I think if my gods tell me the right information, it must be about sports. And uh, that is what we're expecting from uh, this uh, gentleman. You are Mr. Darius, okay? Yes. Okay. How are you? I'm okay, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So glad I was about to bring in something else. But um, you're welcome, Mr. Darius. You're welcome to Eat Media. They are, there's someone also viewing you. You could say hi. Thanks for welcoming me. Our dear viewers out there, I'm Darius Asingwire Mbareba, here to take you through sports news and analysis. Wow. Like I told you, my gods did it right. This gentleman is here for sports. Now, Mr. Darius, before we go to the sport, who is Darius? Darius is a student from Bishop Stewart University doing Bachelor's of Science in Economics and Statistics. Okay. Let's go for sports. Okay, our dear viewers of ATTV, thanks for making it the best online TV and thanks for keeping it on top. We am here to give you s latest news and analysis in our own local sports and also on international sports. Beginning with our own Uganda's Premier League, yesterday we had 
Mbarra City taking on. We had Mbarra City taking on Bright Stars, and the game was at Kacheka Stadium, and the game ended in a lose for Mbarra City, whereby Bright Stars won them with one goal to nil, and the goal was scored by Joseph Akandwanaho in the 59 minutes. Thank you so much, um, Darius. Um, are you just presenting sports news, or you have? Because at first you requested for someone who who knows sports, and I don't know. Yes, well, I was you expected to do analysis or to just be in the studio and present sports news? I was to give some hint on the news, and then I call upon my guest who is none other than Alan, as we analyze about yesterday's match of Mbarra City against Bright Stars. Okay. So your colleague can join you then, we see. Oh yes, our dear viewers of AT TV, here in, we are in AT Media, with our guest as Aaron, someone who has been in sports for a quite long time, and we are to be taking you through and analyzing about yesterday's match of Mbarra City against, against Bright Stars. So, Mr. Elon, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Who is alone before the AT TV viewers? Okay, thank you so much. My name is Aaron Ataho. Um, I'm just a sports analyst. I've worked wi with certain radio stations around town and I've been in the sports industry for a good period of time, of course, so I know everything about sports, locally, internationally. Yeah, that's what I can say. Okay, thanks, Mr. Alon. We are glad to have you here as someone who is, co who is a sports analyst. So I want us, I want you to let us have more what happened on yesterday's Mbarra City's match as they lose to the Bright Stars boys. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Of course, for this period of time, we, know, we all know that Mbarra City has, has faced a lot of problems. Of course, you know, we lost our coach, one of our best coaches, Livingston Mbabazi. So I think that was the, the turning point of our results. And, and of course, from the time that Brian came to our field, we've been facing a lot of problems. Our players have gone to best teams. So I think that's the problem, why we are losing matches. And of course, even the players are not receiving the exact morale. That's what I can say. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for visiting us at ATTV. We shall be hosting you again. And our viewers, thanks for keeping it ATTV Live. You can subscribe to our media channels, that is ATTV on Facebook, ATTV on Twitter, and then as you keep watching and getting the best in sports in Western Uganda. Thanks. We call it. Yes, thank you so much. You can give. So, who is Aaron? Is Aaron coming from Barra City or is an analyst and you're trying to dig deep and understand what happened to a match? Aaron is an analyst. But when he was reporting, actually, when he was in the studio, you were saying we are going, when, he, when, he, when he Brian came in, it's like he was in, the <laughs> like, it's like he's part of Barra City. Because the way he was responding, and that was also not analysis, probably you were asking questions and he was responding. Yet, analysis probably you're all engaging. By the way, I think these people could have done this. By the way, here I think they missed this. Eh? Yes. And it's engaging, but then it later turned out to be an interview. I don't know if you agree with me. I, I think, <laughs> I think Mr. Aaron go, went went deep into that. He was reporting like as analysis. if he belongs to Mbaraste. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> eh? Now, like you're part of Mbaraste, you are not an analyst. <laughs> yes. 
So, if you're not on TV presenting sports news, what else can you do? Um, also, as I have told, Ali, I told you earlier that I'm a, a student doing economics and statistics, I can do internal auditing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. You can take up your seat again. Meanwhile, we have we can have Ayubari Catherine coming in. Yes, Catherine, you're welcome. Thank you. So tell us about yourself. Who is Catherine and uh, what do you do? Why are you here and all that? I am a is a youth, a student at MAST, pursuing bachelor's degree in information technology. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, show us what you have, what you show and uh, present. Here is the floor. Hello viewers, this is Kathy, <coughs> AETV, presenting her stock. Um, a case in point, under this her stock, we, a case in point is coronavirus. We've had this pandemic for almost a year. Um, Viewers, we fail to follow SOPs. Where here you mean uh, wash, washing your hands, uh, wear your face mask, uh, sanitize your hands. Yeah, that's it. What's the kind of a show? How, uh, because I am failing to understand ex exactly how the show will run. You're in the studio and you're talking. You, I mean, how is the show running? Interacting with some other people. You're interacting with someone. How? I'd like to interact with someone for you to understand the kind of the show. Okay, go ahead. Let me interact with Wesley. Thank you, Wesley. This is Kathy hosting you at AIT TV. Uh, thank you, Kathy, for hosting me on AIT TV. This is her stock. Oh, great. Um, Dr. Wesley, I'm happy to host you. Uh, as a doctor, uh, what do you encourage? I've heard so many people don't want to be vaccinated. So what do you encourage people who doesn't want to be vaccinated? Okay, um, as a doctor, first off, we need to really understand uh, the nature of the vaccine before we go about encouraging people to take the vaccine. Yes, uh, we need the vaccine to survive. Uh, the virus took a lot of lives. But then we also need to understand the nature of the vaccine. One, there are countries all over the news that are suspending uh, the administering of the vaccine. So we can't go about encouraging people to take the vaccine that is being suspended without understanding the nature of the vaccine. Thank you very much. How do you encourage the viewers watching out there, <coughs> watching us out there about SOPs? Yes, us uh, SOPs really need to be in place even when we have hopes of having a vaccine. The vaccine is already in the country, but still we need to maintain social distance. We need to wash our hands. Some of these things are not just about the, vac uh, the virus. The part of our personal hygiene, washing your hands, um, uh, making sure that you, you take a shower, you're in protective gear, it's part of our normal and general hygiene. So, Doctor, do you think it will take so, so long for us to be vaccinated or it will take a short period of time? Well, depending on the scientific uh, findings, we hope it could be sooner. Yes, we now have a vaccine, but it's still under clinical trials. 
when it gets to human trials, we hope uh, that will be very soon. Doctor, thank you. Thank you, viewers watching, out, watching us out there. This is Kathy uh, taking you through her talk. See you next time. one last uh, there is that question you are not of course you, uh, you can sit you can sit uh, what else can you do on tv apart from presentation graphics okay um so looking at the nature of your show is it interview based or you can run it without doing interviews with someone both show us that part where you do not need to host anyone How that time when you're not hosting anyone, how will the show be be like? Hey, um, yeah, I need to talk about the current situation. An example is like COVID nineteen. You talk about it, how it has been. Hey, go ahead, do do do, mm. and you have one minute to do that. For COVID nineteen, it has been there for so long for a year. It has affected so many people and other businesses. So as viewers out there, what we should do, we should follow SOPs, as the Minister of Health said. Thank you so much. You can go back. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, we are having iron ladies uh, coming your way. And uh, she just proved she could be one of the next big uh, Western Uganda's uh, online TV and radio presenters. I think we are moving steadily, though we need to check with time. Uh, we need now to mind about that. Next on uh, the phone is who? Let's have a kind one now, Joseph. Aha, uh -huh. Jose, Jose. Yes, you are welcome. Yes, thank you so much. I'm humbled to be here. Well, you're welcome to YTV, Mr. Joseph. Thank you so much, sir. Are you here for TV or radio? I'm here for TV. Wow, you're welcome. There's someone viewing you. You could uh, say hi. Yeah, thank you so much, the viewers. Thank you for tuning in to YTV. Shout out, shout out to those on our media platforms. That is AETV on YouTube, AETV on Instagram, AETV on Twitter, AETV on Facebook. Thank you so much. You're with me, MC Jose, Western Uganda's finest. And I'm going to take you throughout. Thank you. Well, Western UG's finest. Yeah, obviously. Who is Joseph? Uh, um, I can do now Joseph. Um, an innovator around town. I'm an MC. I do events and all sorts of entertainment. Uh, I finished school in uh, that was in 2015. But I've been around town. I'm one of the best entertainers around town. My names are Karen, not Joseph, but I prefer MC Jose. Well, because I'm Western Uganda's finest. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, because he is Western Uganda's finest, and uh, you could able say around town. Uh, that is another version we get from him. So yeah. can we hear from Western Uganda's finest MC? Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm here to introduce a show on AETV. I prefer to call it uh, Evening Breeze because basically, I want it always to be aired in the evening between. 5 and 7 p.m. Because my target audience basically deals with uh, all types of people, but especially the youth, the working class. So I believe that is the time when people are off work and can sit down and view. So, so uh, to sample on the program a bit, uh, I, I don't want to task the, the DJs. They are not ready and, and, and doing it here will take me some time. But yeah, here we go. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AETV. This is the evening breeze with me, 
MC Jose and the show is going to be action packed. You want to know about the celebrity news, uh, what's happening around the world, the latest trending news, and guess what? Lots of action packed entertainment. But maybe take you briefly what's going to be happening on the show. Uh, we have five news coming in. Baby Cool has been trending this week, and you know his son had Afukon, and now. Baby Kusan has been denied UCE exams. Can you believe it? I'm going to be giving the details in. What's happening with Shiba? You all can't afford to miss out. Shiba has landed, has landed a brand new deal uh, with Fresh Daily. She's going to be uh, the brand ambassador. And guess what? You have to know about Bad Black. What is she saying? She's back in the news. You don't afford to miss out. But first, I'm just going to be playing your latest music. And after the commercial break, I'm going to take you out all the news that's trending. But first, chill down, relax, don't touch that dial. This is a TV, and this is the action packed, the, the show we've been waiting for. So stay tuned. See you after break, MC Jose, Western Finest. Stay tuned. I'm, 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 I'm triggered. I feel I'm convinced I should say yo. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. that is a gentleman for you. Uh, and uh, Jose. Y yes, please. I, uh -huh. I'm, I'm really curious. How will it be? Could you break for me if it is like one hour? Yeah. Could you break for me? For example, the first 10 minutes will be this, the next, this, the other, this, the other, this. We, we see. Yeah, so, so basically the, the first 10 minutes are for the introduction. I introduce the show. I tell you what we are going to be doing through the show. The, the news I have for you. Those are the first 10 minutes. We go for a, com a short commercial break. Then after the commercial break, I, I bring in the real deal. The eye-catching stories. I, I tell you what's, what has been happening. I take you to events. Then... The last bit of the show, I, I can also be able to host like the trending celebrities. Because this is Western Uganda, I can decide to bring Ray G, I can bring Truth256, just for a bit of inspiration. Maybe when it's a Friday, I can also bring a few other motivational speakers, plus praying those, those old school jams. So basically, my show is going to be so live, really, entertainment-based. I don't want to expect anyone to get bored on my show. Okay. Thank you. Does it involve hosting a, yeah, it involves hosting a celebrity? Yes, yes. Pick one celebrity around and you host them. I can see a, a lot of celebrities, but um, there is someone who said she can sing. No one who can. But anyway, I'll pick a, at random. So uh, let me host this smart madam. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, you can come and she doesn't and have to come beside maybe. Okay, fine. fine. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah, we yeah, okay, course this is going to be a, a studio based show. Mm. Uh so so ladies and gentlemen, before the break I told you I'm going to bring you uh, one of the Western Uganda's upcoming artists and here she is. She'll be able to tell you about herself, but trust me, the cuteness you can already see her, so let's listen from her. So madam. You're most welcome. This is ATV. I'm MC Jose. ATV is Western Uganda's biggest TV station. So feel free. But first, talk to your viewers who you are and the kind of music you do. Okay. Hello, viewers. I'm called Esther. I do any kind of music. I do modeling. I do fashion. Everything you prefer, as long as it is nice. So, so thank you so much, Esther, as you have heard. She does music, she does modeling. So Esther, this is a quick one because we are really running out of time. Yeah, uh, a quick one. When did you start your music career? It is not now. It has been some, t some years back. So right now I'm just trying my level best to be like those top artists you see. And the industry is not easy. And, and on your role model? I myself am, am my role model. Wow, wow, wow. She's an inspiring lady. Uh, I'm going to ask her to, to give us a capella as, uh, as we wind up the show. Eh? Yeah, a five-second five capella, but 
she, has, she didn't come with her CD, so the DJ will not play it. But I think she'll give her a pair next time. Thank you so much for viewing. You can. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Stephen. Uh, what is uh, MC Jose? Yes, uh, I, <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Uh, what is can you do on TV apart from this? Yeah, as 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 I mentioned, I'm uh, I'm 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 uh, an MC, so I can do field events. Let's say the the, the there is a, a freshers ball at must. I can go there and cover it. Uh, uh, let's say there is the biggest party happening, I can go and cover it, and I can even go, go behind the camera. Uh, there is that skill. In case you, you need someone yes, to go behind you, the camera. Thank you so much, Jose. Do that. You, can, you can take up your seat. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Let's have Wesley.
Yes. Welcome back from the break. Uh, we are still moving on with our auditions, and uh, right now we have uh, Mr. Wesley. Yes, Mr. Wesley, you're welcome. Thank you. Yes, tell us about yourself. Who is Wesley? Uh, Wesley is a scholar of computer science, uh, a data scientist, and a tech community lead for student, uh, developer student clubs and Startup Africa. Okay. So, which show are you bringing to us today? Well, I'm bringing to AET Media uh, a show called The Tech Show, uh, mm. basically on technology. Uh, the show is intended to bring out uh, the tech players we have in the industry, government officials, uh, software developers, startup owners, and individuals that are making technology. Okay. So, show us. Go ahead. I want to see how the show will run. All right. Uh, for the show to run, it is a studio based uh, techno. Uh, so, I would need uh, someone that I'm hosting, and that is Mr. Ronald. <laughs> yes. You, as a tech player. Well. All right. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is AET TV, and I'm your host, uh, Wesley. Uh, there is a lot going on in the tech world. We have had a rise from about 13 million people in, uh, using internet, using technology devices in Uganda, and now we are about uh, 18 million. That means technology is playing a very big part uh, in our lives. And in studio with me, we have one of the tech players who's gone um, into great length to make sure that technology is felt, there is an impact of technology in Barara, and that is none other than uh, Mr. Ronald. So, uh, Mr. Ronald, uh, great to have you on the show. Uh, it's not easy to get you the big guys in tech, uh, but we are glad to have you. So, uh, first of all, uh, who is Mr. Ronald to our viewers out there? Okay, that's a very impressive uh, bio. Well, um, in technology, we've had people come in, and it's just growing up in Barra uh, City. Uh, what interested you, uh, what put you into technology? Is it the college degree, or is it passion? Looking at how young people graduate and unfortunately cannot find jobs, yet these young people who are graduating have ideas which can be turned into businesses. And for me, as a person, I was like, okay, let me do something that can help these people find what to eat through their talents or through their technology talents, as if I can put it out okay. like that. Uh, that's great. Uh, it's always great uh, to follow your passion. But when you follow passion, that means. Uh, the f challenges you meet along the way. So, what challenges have you met along the way in starting up Empower Youth in Technology? Uh, the biggest challenge to me has been young people who at some point, even when they have ideas, tend not to follow their passion. Someone has good a good, a good idea. There is a platform like Empower Youth in Technology. There are opportunities. But to convince them with just a 100,000 jo uh, monthly job, someone will abandon the idea and they will follow that path and to me that has been the biggest challenge these young people not following their passion yet there are opportunities okay uh, that's great uh, but for every challenge we oftentimes as the human brain works uh, find solutions to these challenges uh, what could be the solutions that uh, you've used and you're still standing uh, i think of course um, but i might not blame these young people but maybe the government can also come on board and invest so much money in technology. And if there is money in technology, these young people will see technology being attractive and they will remain there. But of course they will go there, there is no money, they will tend to run away. And um, 
when they run away, the whole country will probably lose. But if government can come on board, put in money, the technology becomes attractive, we are going to see these young people coming on board. And of course, your time is out. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, uh, Wizzling. So, about your show. Are you interested in Ronald as an individual or are you interested in Ronald discussing technology issues? Well, it's two way. Ronald is a tech player, is someone who has a stake into technology, especially in Barara. So we are interested in, t in Ronald who is a tech player. Not Ronald maybe to pry into his private life, but Ronald as a tech player. So what was Ronald discussing then? Was Ronald discussing about empowering in technology or uh, discussing issues in technology? Uh, well, as a tech player, Ronald has something he's doing uh, in the tech, uh, tech world. He has a startup. Uh, the show is about bringing in people in government, startup owners, innovators, and students. So Ronald was a startup owner, which is Empower Youth in Technology, talking about the challenges in starting uh, having startups, how you overcome those challenges, because that's part of the tech world. Okay. So at some point when you introduced the show, I thought you would bring a topic, bring people who are probably relevant and discuss the issue, forgetting about whether they started Empire Youth in Technology or not. That is what I thought. But then when we discussed Empire Youth in Technology, to me it was more of my story. What are the challenges, uh, whatever, you know. So I sometimes, at some point, I got lost. Uh, well, your challenges, uh, your solutions, your achievements mm -hmm. are what uh, we have as the big stories in the tech world. Mm -hmm. You're inspiring. The, the meaning of having this show is inspire people, but also give out information. As a startup owner, you're talking about uh, inspiring. You have empower within technology, so someone else can do it. But then about topics, about information. That could be a government official. Okay, that we have a academician. government official in Sankara. Please host Sankara and then discuss something and we see. Sankara, go ahead. All right. All right. Uh, to our viewers on ATTV, again, this is the tech show with your host, Weasley. And in studio with me is uh, Honorable Sangara, who is the Minister of ICT in Uganda. Honorable, you're welcome on the show. Well, uh, thank you very much, my son. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, first off, uh, we would like to know a little about uh, the Honorable Minister. Uh, come again. We would like to know about the Honorable Minister, besides being the Minister of Uganda, uh, of ICT. Well, thank you very much. You know why I'm so happy is that uh, at my age, like you, my son, I was uh, a spoiled fellow. And it is so good to see that when Musa, the president talks about Vazukuru, uh, we see you are an example for example. Last time I saw you on TV dissing what we do as government. I do not know why you keep doing this, yet government is meant to, you know, I mean, you are meant to uh, polish a good image of the government. Okay, uh, talking about the good policies of the government, the Minister of ICT has come out with uh, the infrastructure policy, trying to lay down the country's uh, IT infrastructure, get people connected to the internet and all networks. Uh, how, is it the, uh, how is it going to benefit uh, the people in Uganda and how are you planning it? Well, uh, first of all, I want to tell the nation that uh, before President Museveni came on board, uh, such policies were un unheard of. Uh, you would not find, for example, that policy in, in the nation. And I am uh, so happy that even as young as you are, you are able to know the policy. But this is meant to help. Uh, people who produce, especially in tech, those that develop homegrown solutions. Okay, thank you. It was great having you on the show. So, <laughs> I, I think I should be able... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You did not help a viewer. Sankara was not answering according to the question. 
And now the viewer out there is wondering what is the police doing and no. So here I'm sure the viewer is not happy. Yes, you had the minister, but the minister did not address the issue at hand. Uh, I don't know. I think, uh, Ndugu Weasley, you're going to meet like this most of the times, especially with government officials. We would love to tell the story about Museveni, like oh, in whatever answer you, te you, you, I mean, you want from me. Yeah. The same as if you meet someone who is in too much, into something else, people will tend to get off this. But uh, when I heard about the tech talk, and I believe you who is watching, you could be bearing me witness. I think, what if we are looking at the science okay the functionality of uh, for example he hosted Ndugu Ronald what if it gets off Ronald and it gets to focus on that that he came to talk about what if it is about for example you had hosted him because of uh, being a startup owner which startup that is empowered within technology yeah, so what if the talk really surrounds a yeet, I mean, empower youth in technology and nothing much with, with, with uh, an individual? We leave the, because there are so many shows, for example, 80% are all talking about inspiration. How have you made it? What, what? I would think if it is not talking about how the pen was made, the technology behind the pen, then perhaps it is talking about the business of, of, of these pens. I do not know, but uh, if I'm misunderstanding, maybe the biggest point from where you hosted the uh, Honorable, it is that they are always going to go in a, a, another line, but tactfully, you, or, you ought to always uh, bring it on. And then the smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you so much. The, the truth is, I am interested in your show, like personally. Because it's a youth TV anyway. It's Empower Youth in Technology TV. And you certainly know we cannot miss technology. So if you're, if you're able to go back and do research and prepare, well, maybe this might be your show, but then you, you clearly see the demand. All right. The demand is just beyond really having a honorable minister. It's about really discussing issues in technology. Okay. So things run see. And maybe what else can we get from Wesley, other than talking about technology other than well, presentation? Well, I, I do TV programming, that is scheduling uh, broadcasts. I can do uh, video editing and also script writing. Okay. There is a stage after this, but certainly we can find you in finals. I mean, certainly I, am, I think you can. All right. Thank you. We still continue to have uh, uh, different individuals, and to, more, to be more specific, young individuals who believe that they have talent for media. We are talking about fourth estate, and so we are essential, and we are looking at the essential group that will be next best from Western Uganda. Um, uh, next. Yeah, next is Ahimsibwe uh, King Darius. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. You are king. Yes, I am. Are you able to prove that uh, you can be Western Uganda's media king? Yes, I can, sir. Well, before that, there's someone viewing us. You could say hi. Yes. Good afternoon, my fellows that are viewing us. This is ATV. I'm so optimistic that you're there and uh, you'll learn from my show. I'm going to take you through the review of the daily happenings. And uh, I pray that you may be there out, of course, viewing our ATV. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. And I would wish, honestly, before you leave, I see a comment down there saying you're a king. I would yes. wish that comment comes in. But before we know who the kingdom you belong to, who is uh, this majesty? So I'm called, I'm speaking Darius, and uh, I'm a student at Bishop's Church University, pursuing Bachelor of Arts with Education, majoring in History and RIS Religious Studies. And uh, 
I happen to be part of one of the radios around Barra, and uh, probably I was at Revival Radio before the COVID-19, and uh, when, you know, Corona affected me, and uh, I happen to be part of Massey FM now in Kakoba. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, Your Majesty. Can we now have your show? Yes, so I'm going to take you through the happenings of the day. So this day we had the elections for the youth member of parliament taking place and uh, we had some members contesting. Uh, we had like the member from the National Resistance Movement, that was Rukmai Edson, and we had some other guy from the Forum for Democratic Change, that is FDC, it was Denmark, Adios Benomitsha, and other contestants from different political parties. But now, by this time, we have, of course... Your, your Majesty, if you don't mind, you could extend a little bit behind. Yeah, right there. Okay. We have, we have so, had... Uh, sorry to interrupt. Remind the viewer the show you're presenting. I'm presenting to you the review of the daily happenings. Yes. So, like I told you, we had the elections for the youth member of parliament taking place in the course of this day. And uh, we had Rukme Edson from National Resistance Movement, the Flag Bell. We had Denmark Alice Benomitsa from former Forum for Democratic Change. And other contestants, there are approximately five of them. And uh, by this time, we have already come to the end of the polls. And we have had Elson Ogumayo taking over the position with over 4,000 votes. And we had Denmark, Winomitsha, getting the second position with 26 votes and uh, other, other members following. Next we had, next we, ha we had the bus, the global bus, having an accident in uh, Lakai, and it is allegedly to say that the bus had an accident due to the overspeed. The, the, the driver had to, 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 to have the accident because they were overspeeding the bus. And uh, we had uh, four people dying on the spot and uh, others were in critical condition and they have been admitted to Mlago Hospital. So that is that happened in the midday and also we had we, we, we are we are having the struggle in the parliament where we're having we are having uh, the three contestants for the speakership for the parliament of of Uganda, the eleventh parliament. We are having the Alto Arakadaga Contesting as well for the speakership, we are having her deputy uh, Jacob Boranya contesting on the same post as well. More so. Oh, okay, yeah. Thank you very much. We will be able to prove whether your king yes. uh, in this. Um, that was a review of uh, current affairs. Yes. Uh, how often? I mean, you're reviewing like how long? Which period? A day, a week? A day, every other day. Because it is daily. Like, in the evening, because you have got to summarize the happenings of that day. Everything that took place in the new course of that day. Would you mind, for example, now it is 1 p.m. Yes. Do you think we have some uh, news that happened between morning and now, and you could inform these people? It has Let's assume the show is a uh, midday review. Let's go. Yes. So, good afternoon, members. It is now 1 p.m. I'm taking through the, res the review of the happenings of the time. So, we have had the general polls for the, for the youth member of parliament, and uh, we, are, we are having them going, going on, and we are having in western region the elections taking place at entire school. So very soon we shall give the results when they are out. And uh, we have had the bus crash 
Nlakai, due to overspeeding, however it is alleged to say it, and in the due course we, ha we shall give you okay. the real proof. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Ndugu King. I think that is uh, quite remarkable. You have... Uh, so, thank you so much, um, uh, King. Welcome. Um, why do you think you're going to have viewers for this show? What makes you believe that? I'm very optimistic that the people outside there are very curious and would love to know what's happening in their country, more so outside their country. Because they would have known already. They would have happened, they would have known already. Mm -hmm. What is that new thing? Because if you're coming after, say, 7 p.m. news, and then you're giving a review, or probably a summary, what is, that, what is so special about that? Primarily, there, as as it says, review. Mm. So you you, you get you now taking them back. Maybe, maybe you know there is when they are reading news, and you know there is it is abrupt to you because you are not yet prepared. And by the time you get prepared, news is already gone, and you, of course you can't regain. And they have, the review brings you now back to the platform. But according to you, you're still reporting. Are you helping them to understand the story? Or you're just reporting the same story the way it was really reported by someone earlier? Of course, I have got, of course, you know, you have got to fascinate the viewers. So maybe you would bring it in some other angle that maybe the news reader did not bring it in. Or you add in other news that they may be the news reader did not see, of course, read. You're adding in. I add. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Thank, Thank you. you very much. What else can you do on TV? I can go to the field and then look for the news. I can as well read news. And do reporting. Yes. Okay. Maybe I'm, I'm quite uh, curious. Wait, is there anyone who can say who can who can uh, do the same he has been trying to do? Review. I want to test if you are in field, for example, the kind of report you would give. Just one news bite, like about one subject. Okay. Yeah, yeah, reporting actually a story. But I want someone who says I can be doing that review. And when that time comes, I can connect with someone in the field, and I want this one to be in field. I don't know if there's anyone else in news. Uh-huh. Let's do it. Yes, come. The review. So you will be able to review the happenings of the day. Just tell us like one or two stories, then connect with someone in the field. And this person is the one in the field. Okay. The yes. Okay. So you want to. So you are at Intare. We want you to give us updates okay. of uh, Denmark. Denmark. Yes. So okay. This one is in studio. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you you can maybe go somewhere there. I don't know where. Yeah. So Papa, you're giving us a review of what is happening. I'm called Dom Shagirbat. Yes, in today's news, we have we are going to entire grounds where we, we are holding the youth elections for member of parliament representing Western Uganda. We have there one news reporter. Let's welcome him and see him what he's reporting. Thank you, my brother. This is King Darius, the news reporter for ATV. So I'm live at entire school where the elections for the youth member of parliament are taking place and uh, at the moment we are having the, 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 the elections going on and so far we are already having Denmark uh, leading the race and uh, we, we, we have had the, the journalist, one of the journalists in western Uganda called 
alona inomujisha being jailed because of the allegation that he was not putting on the mask hence not following the covid-19 guidelines yes, thank you mr darius for reporting that that story uh, that was the end of our news thank you stay watching yeah, thank you very much. We are talking about the next big Western Uganda's uh, uh, best uh, presenters. I don't know, Mr. Gilbert, do you mind if we continue from here and you finish your part? Uh huh. That, those are the opportunities of taking on. Eh? Yeah, an opportunity comes, you keep quiet, someone takes it. So let's have what, uh, let's see what you have for us, Ndugu Gilbert. So that we finish this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you're welcome once again. It's all we know now is that uh, you are interested in news and you're also called uh, Gilbert. I don't know if I'm really right, but um, first greet someone who is viewing us. Yes, thank you. I, whoever is watching us at 80, at 80 TV, you are highly doing a, something great for watching us, for keeping us. Okay. Wow. They are doing something great. Uh, who is Gilbert? Uh, Om Gilbert is a student of journalism and mass communication at Metropolitan University. Oh. Wow. Is there more to tell? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell us more about Gilbert. About Gilbert. As I've told you that uh, I'm doing journalism, really from my childhood, I grown up with the passion of serving the nation through journalism. Okay, so what will you be bringing to AHTV? Yes, in today's news. So you're going to do news? Yes. Okay, let's assume the camera is set. The producer says, set, and you're ready to go. Yes, good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's exactly it's exact, uh, 22 minutes to, to 2 on a beautiful Sunday, 14th March 2021, with me, Omar Shagirbat, live from 80 Studios, Mbalala, Uganda, to serve you the updated news and first our top stories. MPs vet Mutebire for another five years. Parisa MP contestant to pay Ugandan 16 million shillings. The news in details. MPs vet Mutebire for another five year term. Bank of Uganda Governor Emmanuel Tumusime Mutebire was on Friday 12th, 2021, quite ready before the appointments committee of parliament for vetting ahead of starting another five year term in office showing following a reappointment by President Museveni last month. Journalists waited to hear from Mr. Mutebile ahead of the exercise and after we are disappointed as the long-serving governor was led into parliamentary through said the president's office wing and also led out through the same outlet. There was no communication as to what transpired in the vetting room by the press. A Parisa MP contestant to pay Uganda 16 shilling million. I beg your pardon. Parisa MP contestant to pay 16 million shillings Ugandan. Okay, yeah, uh, unfortunately the time won't allow us, but maybe just to understand a few things. Where did you get the news you're reading from? So, like, I get this, this news from, from websites. From websites? Yes, and that was a new way from New Vision website. Okay. You're a student of journalism, right? Yes. Are you able to build your own story? Obviously, I can do. Do you think you can build in one minute a story and about what happened here today and read it to the listener? Yes. I'm so curious when I, oh well, I, I mean, I'm so serious when I say listener because I also want to bring it to your attention that, do you watch TV? I do always. How are they always like? Like you're buried in reading. You're favoring me who is listening. But me who is watching, I am having issues. Because perhaps you're not attending to me. So, 
I will again use the word listen. Yes. Formulate a story about what happened today to the listener. To the listeners. Yes. Good. In this case, use a hit radio. Thank you for tuning in to 8 Radio. Live, we are live on Facebook and on YouTube. Here is the top stories of the day. 8 Television is, is in an audition for its first of kind. Today, eight, eight, today the management of 8 Studio was holding auditions to get new presenters of 8 Television. Among the among the among the contest among the the the, audit, the auditors, so the, uh, the, sorry, among the, the interviewers were Darius who did the best and was trying to report the news. That was the news in brief. Stay tuned. Up next is sports. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Up next indeed is a sports. Uh, I like that statement. But um, thank you very much. I don't know if you have some question for Ndugu Gilbert. Okay. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, we hope, I'm really glad waiting for comments on this video about Ndugu Gilbert. So thank you very much uh, for uh, coming to eat TV. Okay, yeah, someone next. Katunje Ambrose. Yes, Katunje. Yes. Thank you very much. You are welcome to ETV. Thank you. Say hi to the viewer. Yo, viewers, welcome to the show. This is your boy, Natty Rhymes, a.k.a. Natty Rhymes, the dopest blogger. And of course, it's your celeb right here on ETV. Natty Rhymes. Yo. Wagwan. Me good. Be good. Me good. Me good. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, we are getting into part one shortly, but... Uh, uh, as we get into that thing now, um, um, who are you? I'm by name of Katunja Ambrose, a student of BSU, offering BIT. BIT meaning? Um, yeah, and the CEO of Pal Media Uganda. Repeat, fa? CEO of Pal Media Uganda. Pal Media Uganda. What do you do in Pal? It's a blogging company and graphics designing, music promotion. All music that stuff. promotion, graphics designing, blogging. Yeah. Talking about blogging, you use which platform? Facebook? Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I'm over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That will be much interesting for our viewer. What do you have in your package? Uh, your slave will be majorly bringing the... Let's use the microphone. Your slave will be majorly hosting celebrities in the western region. Like we find them either in their cheer outs or in the studio. Wow, I'm glad. You're, you're saying you're, you're celeb? You're celeb. Oh. Do you know this gentleman? Yeah, Yutan. He's called who? Yutan Fad. Is he a celeb? Yeah, of course. Can we have a show with him? By the way, I was going to call him. Okay. So as we interview him, as we enjoy him, please make sure you avoid moving the hand that holds the microphone. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's roll. Let's start. Uh -huh. Yo, on... Yo, today on your, your slave, we shall be having the one and the only Yutan Fahad. And of course, he's one of the biggest celebrities in the Western industry. And of course, he's one, he's the manager of Mulunji. And of course, we shall be having him on the show. So let's go in a short commercial break. We shall be coming with him. Welcome from the short commercial break. Today we shall be having, like I told you, we shall be having Yutan Fahadi, one of the bloggers, one of the manager, one of the graphic designers. Hello, Fahad. Wagwan, Wagwan. Wagwan, brother. How are you doing? Me good, me good. By the way, Fahad, I heard you are the manager of Murunji. Is it true? Yeah, I am uh, a manager to Murunji and the brand manager to Farish Gang, the biggest record label in Western Uganda. Yo, I see, I see. I, I saw on, you, on Murunji's YouTube channel, you had reached 10k viewers, then 
in just two days and then 1k subscribers how did you make it uh, actually we are in touch with uh, uh, the key players in the industry you can talk about uh, the bloggers the DJs the radio presenters so when we did release that project it actually got enough uh, reception people love the song and I hopefully we had the best video we had the best audio so oh magic that's good that's good today we have our topic which will be mus music taking music as a business how have you seen these western artists are they taking music as a business or they're just taking it as a fan music in western currently is largely more about fun yeah. people aren't looking at the monetization bit of it uh, they they are just looking at doing one or two projects uh, they uh, register enough fan base they go out and perform for free and that's all but i have always encouraged uh, i've always encouraged artists in western uganda to look at the monetization bit of it because as much as you put in money at some point you need to earn from it yeah, so you're that's right the thing. you're right you're right i saw your post talking about that you are one of the you're making many whatsapp groups you're making okay just like you have seen we are out of time we had you turn fahad next time we shall be having one of the biggest one of the biggest celebrities in the west and that's t paul yokakoba boy i think you won't miss yes uh, thank you very much i think we should be able to uh get i mean tell the stories from western uganda's entertainment industry uh, i'm glad that the person you just hosted is one of the people that can be able to tell whether so and so is good for entertainment or not and trust me after this i will ask for his inter uh, his opinion and uh trust me he's going to at least uh vote on that but uh thank you very much is that all with your show uh also on our show we shall be having entertainment news yeah can you sample us like one like now today we today we shall be talking about the best the best mu musicians in the western region mm. and of course our, our, on our number five we are on the count on number five is t paul and of course t paul has a new brand new song called echimuri rosi it has been trending in western and of course if you haven't heard the song you go check it out on YouTube, YouTube, mp3.com, how biz. And on number four, we have Murunji. Murunji is a young, he ha she has 10 years, but she's talented. Ch go check her out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. And on number one, and number three, we have the one and only Ray G. Ray G. Regans, and of course, one of the dopest. I call him king, but he's not making our top one because of some reasons because the the, the traffic okay is. yeah thank you very much we feel the vibe already nutty rhymes yeah uh, thank you very much uh, you're welcome so you said more you can do graphics you can do all these yeah, you can do graphics okay yeah thank you very much uh trust me we will be having more uh, to tell in the world of entertainment but it is still about you drop the comment and say so and so is good at this and trust me we will be able to find the best uh, you could be wanting we're still on the search of the next western uganda's big uh online presenter and we cannot do it alone i don't know who could be next on the floor uh let's have mr alan okay Yes, Ndugu Alan, you're welcome. Let's do Thank, chap you. Chap. Thank you. Thank you so, very much. Uh -huh. Say hi to someone viewing us. Oh, our dear viewers. Thank you. Good afternoon to you all. And I'm here to present news. You're here to present news. Yes. Who is Alan? Kumisiriza Alan. 
is a teacher by profession and I have a diploma in English literature. Okay. So we have a teacher who says I can do news. Let's go. A TV news. I'm Gumisir Alan with the one o'clock news in English and first at the headlines. And I'm to decide on the next speaker. A TV first auditions. No peaceful protests continue. The news in details. Coming to the end of the tenth parliament, a hot debate is over. Who the next speaker will be both inside and outside parliament. The national resistance movement has said that the speakership race between the incumbent Rebecca Ertuar Kadaga and her deputy Honorable Jacob Olanya will again be decided when the caucus sits to determine who to front. This was said by the Uganda Region Party's Vice Chairman, Honorable Chiwanda Subi. Ambara online television known as AIT TV that is aiming at empowering youth in technology has carried out its first auditions in search for the best Western Uganda radio and television presenters. The auditions have taken place at 10 o'clock on 14th March 2021 at their head offices along Bananuka Drive in Balara. Very many applicants stand up for the interviews. Wow. Thank you very much. We already see the vibe. Just that uh, we are ignoring our camera. We are favoring someone listening and the viewer is not attended to. I do not know if deep down the heart you're comfortable doing it on TV or radio. Both. Both. Okay. Let's read one more story considering that someone is viewing you. Okay. The National Unity Platform leader former presidential candidate Robert Chagrany Centum, also known as Bobby Wine, has said that the oppressed will continue with their protests complaining about their victory that was rigged and the protests would continue law free and peace free. The ch presidential candidate Robert Chagrany said these words while he was addressing the Chambogo University students that visited his home in Magere yesterday. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Let's assume that you're concluding. Okay, that was the news. Thanks for watching AIT TV. And I'm Gumisri Alan. You can keep following for more updates on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on YouTube. So, Alan, are you in any way able to do that without reading anyway? Face the camera and and uh, and uh, and do news. Okay. Welcome, our dear viewers. I'm Gumisiriza Alan, and this is A TV News in English. First, at the headlines. And I'm to decide on the next speaker. A TV carries out its first audition, and this, are the, this is the news in detail. The National Resistance Movement, as a party, has said that it will carry out a caucus meeting that will decide who the next speaker will be. The incumbent, Honorable Alituala Kadaga, and her deputy, who are contesting for the seat that has caused fire in the parliament. The NRIM caucus will decide who the next speaker will be. Thank you. What else can you do on TV apart from reading news? Already. Uh, already. What else can you do? No job for news reading. What else would you like to be considered for? I, I can, like, I'm um, an internet inter addict, so I can be doing the social media part for the company. Okay. Are you a social media influencer or? Like, um, someone who is too much addicted, and so I know I can do that. Uh, how many followers do you have on Facebook? On Facebook, I have more than 5,000. Okay. Right. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Alan. Uh, trust me, it is going to end with us having, at least knowing, the next 
big uh, online presenter in Western Uganda. Uh, who could be next? Okay. Let's have Ariatuha Mary Victorious. Ariatuha Mary Victorious. Wow. The name is a sign of victory. I did not know if the prophecy uh, of uh, those who named you victorious is going to come to pass. Well, you're welcome, Madam Victorious. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's greet someone who is watching. Uh, good afternoon, dear viewers. This is Ariatua Mary Victorious taking you through the lunchtime special. The lunchtime special. Yes. At uh, that time, we're looking. What, what's that time? Like 1? Yes. 1 p.m. there. From 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Certainly we are hungry. Yeah? Don't you think so? Yes. So what, what, what it is it going to be like? Um, in this lunchtime special, I'll, I'll be giving health tips. That is the first thing. Like, uh, Dear viewers... No, no, first wait. First, let's first describe. You said from, for example, like 1 to... to for example, like 1 p.m. To, 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 to 10 minutes after 1, I'll be giving health tips. Uh -huh. Like telling the viewers maybe they should wash yes. fruits before yes. eating them. Uh -huh. they, should, they shouldn't eat uncovered food or cold food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's continue. Then, after that, I'll be, I'll take a short commercial break. Then I come back receiving phone calls. Uh, viewers uh, sending greetings to their friends. Then I'll also receive con phone calls for the request. I'll have the request time. For the viewers to request for their favorite song. When when is it? Is it like once a week? Like maybe on a Sunday afternoon, or it's a daily show? Uh, it's a daily show from Monday to Friday. Okay, I think we are here to receive what Victorious have. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, is getting to uh, a eat TV. But before that, who is Victorious? Ariata Mel Victorious is. Uh, finished bachelor's in business administration from Barra University of Science and Technology in 2017. Uh, she's a multi-skilled uh, multi person. She's motivated. Multi-skilled. Yes. Wow, I would want to hear more about that when you finish. But before that, I think let's first do... You said lunchtime special? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, dear viewers. This is Mary Vicky taking you through the lunchtime special. Uh, at this time, you are going to, we are going to have the health tips. Uh, dear viewers, after buying your fruits from the market, those prices are always not uh, healthy, you should wash them uh, with cooked water or the boiled water. Don't use unclean water or the uh, uh, hot water would be the best to wash your fruits before eating them. Uh, so let's have a commercial break coming up shortly with the request line okay well thank you uh we've played whatever i'm coming i am but now you're coming back uh welcome dear viewers those who have who are not on tv this is the time for your requests i'm going to be receiving phone calls and reading messages uh, some people are sending in messages from facebook whatsapp 
So I'm going to be reading messages here. Uh, this is Gloria from Lukunjiri. Uh, she's sending her regards to, to her friends, Monique. So let's conclude. Let's assume you read like four of them. Let's conclude the show. Okay. Thank, thanks so much for watching the show. With me, Vicky. Keep it to ETV for us on our social media platforms. Uh, see you tomorrow. Wow. Thank you very much. Victorious. I do not know the comments that you are dropping for her, but uh, certainly it could be positive. Now, I want to again roll back. You said you're mild skilled. Yes. Could you share with us about those more skills? I can do. Uh, I can do many things. Uh, I can do graphics. I can do. I can be a receptionist. I can do any designated work. Yes. Well, victorious people do not usually have one skill. They have multi skills, and she says she can do everything. Drop that comment about her, and we will be uh, 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 getting it. But. She says she could be the next uh, big Western Uganda's presenter. Thank you very much, Victorious. Welcome. Okay. Yeah, let's have uh, someone uh, next. Yes. Is Nwata uh, Nicholas around? Then Nwata uh, Aaron should be preparing. Nwata Nicholas, you can come. Yes, you're welcome. Ndugu Nicholas. Thank you. Uh, I am feeling the vibe. Huh? Yeah, yeah, the vibe is so high. The vibe is so high, my people. Ah, yes, now we are starting, I can see. Wagwan. Wagwan men. Ah, what else can I say? <laughs> huh? We are loud and live. Ah, well, trust me, this is the true definition of, of uh, vibe, and I'm so glad you're doing it like that. Thank but you. before that, yes. let's say hi to uh, someone viewing us. Yo, yo, we are loud and live at 8 TV. This is your by Nwata Nicholas, aka Danta Yoji. You can call me Danta Yoji. We are loud and live. Danta Yoji. Hi. Okay. Certainly, you cannot say that name if you didn't take lunch. But um, who is Danta? Danta is still a student at MIU, which is Metropolitan International University. I do bachelor's in journalism and mass communication. Ah. Yes. It looks like there's a lot to tell about Danta. Mind sharing? What else? What else are you leaving? What Something else? Something we should know about Danta. Something. I'm just. I like being in front of the camera, shouting out to my people there, out there, everybody who is watching. That's what I like. Do you think there is a presenter you really want to be like in Uganda? Yeah, man. Who? I want to be the next MC Katz. I want to be the next Douglas Ruanga. I want to be the next everyone. Mm. Yeah, man. Trust me, Mr. Everyone, if you're watching, this guy wants to be like you. But I'm interested in the first two, Katz and uh, uh, Douglas. That would mean that you would have a sh an entertainment show. Of course, definitely. It's called what? It's called the request show. The the the, the request show. Request, yeah. This time while we are writing it, it's D A. The request. Yeah, man. Ah, yeah, man. Ah, okay. I wish I knew patois. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's uh, hear from you. Let's roll. Yes, people. Welcome to the first hour of the show. It's request show with me, Danta Yuji, representing Sweet. At Eight TV, uh, I got, I got, all, I got a lot of things to say. I got everything to tell you, man. Entertainment news, I have it. Celebrity news, who I will be calling in. You request for any song you would like to listen, you'd like to watch. Then definitely, I play it at Eight TV. Yeah, let's go for a short commercial break. Remember, we are sponsored by Mukama Nayamba. We shall be back in a bit.
Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Mukama I mean while he's playing Kaiva and he's doing his thing. Yeah, uh, we would wish I'm 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 trying to big interest in you hosting celebrities like Fahad. Yes. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. So now we are going to have two minutes. Okay? Yes. Let's share our one minute with current entertainment affairs like you promised. Now in the next minute send your shout outs to people who are following you maybe on social media and then in the last minute let's host Fahad do you mind I don't mind okay let's go that's what I have to do yeah uh say the first minute <laughs> uh thank you for watching Elite TV we are still live on Facebook we're doing it murder, murder, murder. It's a real quest show. Remember, we are doing it every every Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. We're doing it. It's elite. Remember, the fashion is all the way from Immaculate. I, I think you can see the fashion. Yeah, man. So, shout out to everyone who is watching. My Katete people, my Mbarara people, Western people, how are you doing? Chizungu people, Kisenyi people, Kamukus people. Man, the vibe is high. I can't finish all of you. But remember, we are live on Facebook. We are live everywhere. Eight TV. Yeah. Then, let me choose at random the one I can host. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Come on. I think you can take a seat. Member, member, behind me, behind me, the, we have a celebrity who is hitting it murder, murder, even Nicki Minaj. Yeah, you're most welcome at the show. Thank you. Yes. Uh, in a bit, can you give an introduction about yourself? Okay, I'm Gloria. I'm Gloria Natasira. I'm, I'm doing music. Um. <laughs> yes, this is our, this, this is our, our artist. Yes. I've, I've been de doing music since I was a kid. I started from 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 church as being church choir, and that is it. You people, we don't know about music. Everybody tells us that you attend kira mu church. Nange, I think I should go to church back. But you can tell us about your music, about your music. What's coming? What's in the studio? What's coming? Uh, let's see. I've, I've I've released a new song. It is yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We had our celebrity here. His song is that one. I think you have heard. We shall be playing it when we, when we come from a short commercial break. Thank you for watching ATV. Signing out. A shout out to to Henry on Camilla, the team I worked with. I sign out. Danta UG. Catch me tomorrow, same station. We are live ATV. Thanks. Yeah, man. Aha, uh -huh. so if it was MC Cats, you would say Achikubie. But um, beyond, beyond, uh, beyond this, your thing, Danta, yes. what else can you do? I can do video editing. Ah. Uh, yeah, and which even software MC Cats do you use? Seen. It's software. I use Premiere Pro CC 2017. Ah, uh, okay, that's great. Uh huh. Thank More? you. Or what I you do can MC do? I can do outdoor outdoor shows like let's say there is there is a, a bash at must there can go there and chukube. You understand? What chukube? Yeah man. Okay. Thank you very much. We will be waiting for this gentleman to kuchikuba, but uh uh whatever comment you drop about him, trust me, we will be taking it in good faith. And we are still searching for the next big uh presenter from Western Uganda. Uh, thank you very much, Danta. Thank you. Uh, you will be doing it your way, I think, if uh, these people say you are worth it. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's quickly have uh, the next uh, the next one. 
that is uh, Nwataho Aaron. Wow. Um, I'm having a meeting with my gods now, and they are telling me you are passionate about sports. Is it true? Of course, of course. Ah, I trust my gods anyway. <laughs> yeah. So you're welcome, Ndugu Aaron. Thank you, thank you. Um, um, I'll say hi to someone viewing you. Of course, to everyone watching me, I'm Aaron Ataho. Um, I'm a student from the University of Metropolitan. I do mass com. I'm in year two. I'm really passionate. You know, I have that kind of passion in media. I've been, I've been in media, I think, doing the news blogging and even doing sports on certain radio stations. Really, I think I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be in media. Ah, okay. That's what he thinks. I do not know what you're about to watch in the next one minute if is indeed what he should be thinking about. Now, Ndugu Aaron, uh, Aaron, actually, do you have a stage name, for example? No, I just use Aaron. You use Aaron. So who is Aaron? Aaron, as I've said earlier, um, you... Mm, yes, yes, let's go. I'm a student in year two from the University of Metropolitan. Um, I'm just in media doing it because I love it. Um, I think I'm still pursuing the course. With time, I'm going to, to be working either on radio or on TV. I'm just a student. That's what I can say. Ah. I'm not yet into the field. Okay. Okay. So let's anyway roll uh, uh, with what you've got for entertainment. For sports? Yes. Let's go. Okay, good morning to everyone. My name is Aaron. Of course, I'm going to be here for the next 30 minutes. I'm going to be giving you the latest in the world of sports. Uh, basically, to, uh, they are going to be the sports updates. I'm going to be, of course, guys, I'm going to, to, be, to be giving you the local sports, the international sports, meaning I'm going to be covering every league. So, the, the updates and the fixtures, call it just... So long as it's sports. Look, uh, Aaron, uh, let's assume you've been doing it. They already know. Mm. Just start today's show. Just start today's show. Okay, you good morning, everyone. My name is Aaron. Of course, I'm here for the next 30 minutes. I'm going to be giving you the latest in the world of sports. Of course, locally, yesterday we had a couple of games in the Uganda Premier League. We had Mbalala City, our own team. Mbalala City was playing against Bull, and that game ended... 1-0 in favor of Bull. Of course, as you know that as you know that Mbala City has not been performing better. So, of course they have managed to get a new coach, Livingstone, but with time I think they are going to improve on their, on their performances. Of course, then when we go internationally, we, we, we are going to be having a couple of games today. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. But before, b before I go to those leagues, of course, you guys, if you're out there and you feel like you, you like our show, you like our updates, you can follow us on, sh on our socials, Facebook at AITUG. A of course, you can also go to my personal page, Aaron Ataho, on Facebook and on Twitter. Then I see in Premier League we have a, a game, of course, a game between Arsenal and Tottenham. It's happening tonight. Of course, you are, if you're an Arsenal fan, guys, be ready to cry because I think... Tottenham is not, is not simple these days. They have got Harry Kane, Son Hing Minsun, and Gareth Bale. So in, in La Liga, we have a game between Cadiz and Barcelona, I see. Messi is on form. Uh, in, in Germany, I see we have a game between Schalke and, and Hoffenheim. And of course, when, when we are to go to with the performances, Schalke has been performing poorly. Of course, they even sacked the coach. Um... Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Of course, this goes to our ladies. Yes, thank you so much, Aaron. Mm. So, is that for TV or for radio? Both. Do one for, do one for TV and I see. For, for TV, of course, when I'm doing for TV, it means people out there who are going to be watching, they're going to be listening to, to be watching what I will be presenting. Then give them attention, eh? in other words, give them attention, engage them. What you're seeing, that is too much of reading, 
and uh, perhaps someone out there is bored is not yeah, really okay. I get so for the TV let's say when I start my presentation let's, let's say maybe I'm talking about those matches I will be on TV showing them we have a game between us and Tottenham of course we see us and home of course you know us when, when, when they are home they are performing better they have got this odd uh, the, the young is not scoring and Hurricane is on form so I think, if we are to be honest, of course Aston is going to take this. So, then we have in La Liga, we see Atletico Madrid versus Barcelona, of course. Okay. Like that. Thank you so much. Um, what else can you do other than sports? I can, also, I can also present the news. Maybe from the field, I can be like a news anchor. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to do sports as well? Are you come? You, you come on so you're going to do your own version of sports, and later we can have you both of you in the studio and do some context analysis about what is happening. Eh? You can even come this side, be off camera. So, welcome our dear viewers. Welcome for today's session. I'm here for the next seven minutes to take you through the weekly sports updates at AETV. And we can be back later in, in the night for the analysis. Because of the short time, I am your usual presenter, Lawrence Agaba, taking you through, and I will start with the, the results in yesterday's matches, both the local and the international. Here, KCCA drew with police. Maeda was beaten by UPDF, three goals to near. Barra City lost to Bright Stars, and URA won against Vipers and URA tops the table because it was in the second position. In the, in the Premier League, the English Premier League, which is the, now the current the most followed league, we had some few games and the Chelsea drew with Leeds. Man City extended their lead, extended their lead by beating by Yes, thank you so much, um, uh, Lawrence. That was also radio, kind of. Um, assuming you're all both in the studio, and you want to do that analysis about matches and what is happening in sports, eh? do that and we see. Who is the host? course, thank you, all the viewers out there. As I told you earlier, I'm Aaron. Of course, I ha I'm having my uh, my colleague, Mr. Mr. Lawrence. Of course, we are going to be here for the next 30 minutes. We're going to be talking physical sports, and we're going to be talking local sports and international sports. So, guys, you can do you can go to our shows and you contribute to our 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 issues, maybe our sports. You can also give us the latest in the world of sports. So, Mr. Lawrence, uh, yesterday we had a game between Bala City and uh, Bull. Really, what was the biggest highlight in that game? Yesterday's game started, of course, where, but Bala City has, has had a poor performance in these latest games. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it, it managed to win against Vipers, yeah. Yeah. but... It was not. It was not also convincing. Was uh, do you really think that that uh, that win was really a good one, or they just maybe forged it? It, it was a good win. It was but like a, a by, a, it was by chance. Uh -huh. It was a okay. It was a surprise win because considering Vipers mm -hmm. being in that top four co and it is competing for the title, mm -hmm. so Barasta, which is now competing for relegation, yeah, yeah, is 
that was very surprising. Oh. Most of the people did not expect it. Hey, really? You can see it was even a, a one near win mm, mm. because it was also a wonder goal from an OB. Yeah, yeah. Who, who people expect to know Vipers more? Okay, okay. So let's leave that issue of Mbala City there. We can go to Arsenal. Of course, you know Arsenal is playing against Spurs tonight. Yes. Do you really think Spurs is, Spurs is going to win against Arsenal? Arsenal, it is a two-way game because mm, mm. both teams are are performing not very well. Yeah. They are not in good form. Since and remember, Hurricane has been scoring these days and Gareth Bale. Hurricane has been scoring, yes, but Hurricane is doubtful. And he, they, have, they all have. Of course, a, of course. Spurs too. has the Europa game yeah, yeah. In, the, in the midweek. Mm. But remember, Arsenal has not won against Spurs yeah. in the last 12 games. So it, it is also tricky, but it can go both sides. Oh, okay. So I think maybe as you have said, Arsenal can take that. Manya Spurs. Yeah, Spurs can really can take, take that. that. I, if I am to bet. I and remember, Aubameyang has been not, you know, has not been performing better. Like yeah, actually, for the viewers, is that game home for Arsenal or it's just away? It is home for Arsenal, but hey. still Spurs can go and pick it. No, actually, as you have said, me, I, I don't think Spurs can really beat can really beat Arsenal, as we all know that. Atet is good when, when it comes to masterminding a game. I think he's going to win against Spurs. My opinion, I think you have already g given your opinion. I think Spurs can take that, maybe to your, t to your side, but maybe for the viewers, they can, also go, they can also go to our show shows. You guys, go to our Facebook, go to our Twitter, go to our Instagram on AUTUG uh, and AUTV. Uh, uh, even you can go to my page and you bring out m your, your fixtures and, and, and even your opinions. I, I will be able to read them when I come next time. You can also put your predictions. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much. I think uh, while we try to get the information from sports, the art. I don't know. Do you? Do you? Uh, do we have sports presenters that? you really usually watch especially those on TV like uh, locally locally mm. locally I do watch Dalton Kawes of, N of NBS and even Senono Senono and even some, some guys on Ukede there is a guy called Lawrence I do love their sports and even locally here in, in, our, in, our, in, in our region I do listen to Cruise FM, where I don't Mike, Abu, and Ronald during weekdays and even the, the weekends. They give us nice sports. That's where I, I get my sports from. Okay, so thank you very much. I do not know if it is because we are in uh, auditions, but we are sound like it's really a competition. I mean, I would wish, just like you know the Abus, okay, let's assume now you're there. I mean, there's nothing like pressure, nothing. I mean, just will come us to the show and start giving us the sports. It's, it is quite like uh, he was t saying, more of reading than off head. It is not planned. At least we are very sure that they will start with other kinds of sports on, on the local scene, then national, then to international. And then it's not only about football. Yeah. There is more to the games. So I don't know why that is not coming out. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. But perhaps you could go back and watch these guys. Watch, watch them. See, really, the, the interaction. Very, very free. You know Kabuda? Uh -huh. So please, let's watch their style and maintain it that way. Otherwise, it is not easily coming out. I think if I'm to be honest, it also depends on the time. Let's say the sports updates, you just need like 30 minutes or 20 minutes. So it means you're going to, to do little sports, maybe, and some little of analysis. But when you're having like two hours, one hour, you can also talk about basketball, then golf, then rugby, and other sports. I think it also depends on the time. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, really. Yeah, time is indeed, uh, it also matters. But. Uh uh, anyway, that's how we are moving and uh, we are still on the search for the next big Western Uganda 
uh, uh, online presenter. That was a team that think they can do sports. I wait for your comment. Who is next? Can we have a interview now? Hmm? Is it Isaac or Aizen? Ah. So we have another. Now, please, as we are presenting, Nugu. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Let's forget that this is it's, it's auditions, yeah? Just assume, really, you're, you're on TV, people are watching, yeah? So address that as your show. And then let's assume you've been doing it, you're not doing it for the first time. You've been doing it, it's another day for that show, okay? Yeah, you are Aizan, yeah? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're welcome to a Yeet TV or Yeet Media. It's a pleasure. Yeah, for TV or radio? TV. For TV. Wow. Let's say hi to someone who is being us. Yeah, I greet you all of you on ATV. I am humbled to be here. Okay. So what do you have in package for us? I want to be news reader. News. Ah, before news, we could first perhaps understand who Aizen is. Uh, Aizen uh, is a student at the Bishop Stewart University. Pursuing bachelor's degree in journalism and mass communication. Bachelor's degree in journalism and mass communication. That is good to hear. Uh, give us your part. Let's yeah. go. Now. Mm. Reader. Okay. Uh, a very good afternoon, viewers of AETV. I'm bringing the news. Um, I know John Ivan. First a day. New MP elect Paul and Suga arrested for stealing phone. What? Parliament appoints committee says Matevi is physically very weak but mentally strong. Extends his term. Let, let, let's, let's use this. Okay. The news in details. New MP elect Paul, Paul and Suga arrested for stealing phone. What? Let's let's use the microphone. I put the microphone. Use it. Use the microphone. We are not hearing you. New MP elect Paul Nsubuga arrested for stealing phone worth 80k. The newly elected Soro North MP member of Parliament has arrested on allegations of stealing a mobile phone worth 80k. Suga, who stood on a national unity platform ticket in the last general election, was at the start of the CT of the C of the CCTV camera, taking off with a phone that belongs to mobile money agent in Kampara. Parliament appoints committee says Mutevi is very is very weak but mentally strong, extends his term. Central Central Bank Governor Emmanuel Mutevi. On the realist occasion yesterday, appeared for voting with the parliamentary committee. Uganda police detained generals with treason accusers of publishing false information. Uh. Can we try to sort of like cool down? I mean, like just cool, eh? yeah? Uh huh. So now you read these stories, right? So with TV, because you said that's what you're interested in, with TV, the reading is only 20%. I would really want to think that you read the stories, you know them, and then just give us a little and assume there is a reporter that is going to bring full stories. Okay? Don't read the whole story grasp the story, just know what it is about it, introduce it and let the reporter do his thing, okay? Can we do it? Okay, let's try. New MP elect Paul Nsuga arrested for stealing phone worth 80k. New elected Suronos MP member of parliament has been arrested for allegations of stealing a mobile phone worth 800,000. Nsuga who stood on a national platform ticket in the 
in the general election was out, the start captured of the on CCTV camera taking off with the Maybe, phone. Maybe, uh, you see, you're repeating what, first give me the first story, I show you. You see, I don't know how to do news, but for example, your first story says, NUP MP elect Paul Nsubuga arrested for stealing a phone worth 80k. So now I'm saying, now that I know, just assume that these other ones, it's not you, who is going to tell us the story? Someone else is going to, you know Kawesi? Is it Kawesi or Kawesa? Solomon, eh? So let's just assume that this other story is going to be told by him. You only tell us that this MP elect has been arrested. I mean, just that. Then allow the reporter to do his thing, okay? Let's try it. Parliament appoints committee says Matevere is physically, is physically weak but mentally strong. Extends his term came after the, the committee say, sat and agreed that the, he should again get the term and serve the people. Let's get the information. Uh, let's take a look on what happened in the parliament. Ah, uh, well, I think, I do not know. We have someone else coming for news? We have? So maybe for this, let's do it this once for all. Come and be the judge. Yeah? I want you to be the judge, yes? Because we are practicing TV not only just because we are on a, in auditions, yeah? So I will assume I'm a newsreader already seated. I'm waiting for my producer to tell me that all is well and I can start reading, okay? We watch news, right? So, Ndugu. I am waiting for you to control me. When I'm ready, you say yes. We go. A very good evening to you, our dear viewer. This is Sankara Biaruhanga. It is exactly 7 p.m. Yet another time for our English news. We will start it with our headlines that happened during this day. Now... I'm using those words that are not right words I should be using. But at the, start, at the end where I ended this day, the TV producer has already prepared the headlines. You watch news, right? You don't mention them. They're already prepared. So at that very moment, I keep in my seat seated and they are running. You okay? When they are done, I'm supposed to come back with my first story. Okay? Let's watch. Yes, we thank you once again for making us your choice. It is news at, let's get a name for the news bulletin. We can say it at, at one. Okay, let's roll again. Thank you very much for still keeping us your number one TV station. It is 8 at 1 and we are starting it at the national scene where a new member of parliament is being accused for stealing a mobile phone worth 80,000. This is Noops Nsubuga who? Nsubuga Emmanuel of Rubaga North is apparently accused for having, been, uh, for having stolen a phone worth 60,000. Our reporter, Nsubuga Dennis, has this report. I do not know. I have not practiced. I do not know the story. But at least if it was audition, I would have at least 70% of perhaps me being considered than if I came and read everything from word go. I hope you get me. So now, grasp one story. Let's do that like one. Let's assume the headlines are done, okay? You're coming back to tell us the story. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Very good afternoon, the esteemed viewers of ATV. These are the news at one. I'm Aizen Ainevion. Today, the Today, the Empower Youth in Technology has carried out the interviews to the, to the youth who are, who are the next generation in Imbarra Town. This took place at exactly 
Okay, that is that is noticed. Let's receive the lady in news. Meanwhile, thank you very much. I think you will be able to tell us what more you can do. Let's first hear from her. What's your name? Let's repeat the name for our viewer. Your name? I'm Baricha Precious. Uh, uh, you, you, you use the other seat. It's okay. Okay. Patience. Precious. So you saw what we were telling this gentleman. It wasn't perfect, but we can do it in along those lines. Let's assume you already introduced that today we are going to have news, and you told us to view headlines. Veyren, you're coming with your top story, okay? Let's roll. Bobby Wayne. Bobby Wine's supporters dumped in Mpiji Swamp, still missing. Mid this week, Mr. Chagrani announced the death of one of his supporters, Fabian Luca, who was kidnapped by the security officers. We shall keep you posted as details come in. In other news... Uh, Precious, you watch TV news, right? Do they do it like that? How do they do it? Just explain how they do it. No, no, no. Beyond the reader, just tell us how it goes. When we know it is time for Akawungezi, how does it go? Tell us what happens there. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, um, I'm really thinking it is beyond that. Maybe we could just have a short break. Uh, when we return, I think we'll be communicating, I mean, continuing from this point. A precious, just a short while, a few seconds.
Yeah, thank you very much for that uh, short break and you kept around. Uh, we are still with Precious uh, trying to prove a point that she could be the next big news anchor from Western region. And uh, we are still still uh, rolling. So you are still telling us how they do it. Headlines. News in details. How do they bring out details? Let's use the microphone. After reading the headlines, the people are aware of what you're going to say about. So you start reading the news in details. So that version that you're describing is good for radio. Don't you think? That's the case, right? So maybe for our viewer, you could do your version. And please, as you judge her, uh, maintain the thinking that she will be doing this on radio. So let's hear. Because with that, it's the same version you're using. So let's use a hit radio. Uh-huh, let's go. That's from giving news. Start it your way. Good afternoon, my esteemed view viewers. It's of a hit radio. It's half past midday, and these are the news in brief read by Baracho Precious. Bobby Wine supporters dumped in Impiji Swamp still missing. Don Wanyana reportedly said to repress Kaushenga. These are the news in details. Mid this week, Mr. Chagrani announced the death of one of his supporters, Fabian Luca who was also allegedly kidnapped by security operatives several weeks ago. We shall keep you posted as details. Don Wanyana has finally accepted vision presidential, presidential press sec secretary Don Wanyana is set over to take over as a vision group chief executive Let's do a bit. Wesley, are you willing to try reading news? Both. Come. I've never done this part. Do you want to do it seated or? A very good morning, dear listeners. This is the morning bulletin on AUT TV. Um, there's a lot that's been happening. Uh, let's first look at the headlines. After 20 years in the media, Shaka Sali, the host of Voice of America, is stepping down to go and do what everyone else does in retirement. Uh, we had our New York correspondent, Henry Kabuga, talk to Shaka Sali. Let's hear from Shaka Sali. <laughs> Sorry, that was Henry. Continue. Do another, story. Do another story. And another news: uh, the twenty-year-old uh, son of Bebe Cool uh, is up in arms. And <laughs> sorry, a uh, Bebe Cool uh, popular uh, singer is uh, up in arms for his son missing national exams while he was out of the country participating in Afghan under twenty games. Uh, we talked to Andrew Chibura, who was our correspondent at the African Games to see how Alpha participated and what the dad has to say about this. Well, that, 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 that's a fair trial, right? We are all happy. He deserves the job. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. That, that's okay, that's, that's what you wanted. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you cannot. Okay. Okay, you come. Uh. Okay, 
right, let's do chop chop. A good evening to all the viewers. It's the news live at nine with me, Aaron. But before the headlines, welcome back. As I said earlier, I'm Aaron. Of course, there is a clash of words in the parliament where the legislators clash over the speakership. And we, we, as we all know that we have the two camps, but, but the minister, the chief whip, Rusna Nkabirwa, said that Kadaga won't go to, to the parliament again. Let's have a watch on it. Hey, before, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Before that, so, um, uh, let's uh, because no, people I, are being no. I'm I'm just saying sorry to you. The way how the way how I prepared it. Uh, it's yeah, not the way how I presented I it. I understand. So let's get live with news. Let's avoid the word of course. Yeah. Of course. Before. <laughs> We are just imagining that yes, we are live on TV, but no, <laughs> we are we are on TV, but we are getting the the, the 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 skills from you guys. So after running that story that I told you earlier, we go to the we go to the to the field where News Ank is going to be reporting us the news that I've just read. So. Let's say that I'm, I'm, I'm the news anchor. I'm in the field and I'm in the parliament. And the other person on the the other person, the TV presenter. Well, thank you, thank you for trial. Uh, trust me, we'll get there. And thank you, Ndugu Weasley. I'm waiting for a comment from this person viewing about you. Uh huh. Yeah. Who is next? Uh, Chomugasho Esther. Uh, what are you going to do? Fashion and trend. Okay. We have another lady coming through. Uh, you who is viewing us. It's yet another comment that you will need to drop about ladies. She thinks she is the next big thing around. Okay. Um... um you're called uh, Esther? You're welcome, Esther. Thank you very much. Who is Esther before we go? As well, I'm called Chomgashe Esther, a yes. journalist at Bishop Stewart University. Journalist? Oh, meaning? Yes, please. What does that mean? I'm doing journalism and mass communication at Bishop Stewart University. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. Thank you. Nice to have you. Please greet someone who is viewing us. Hello, my esteemed viewers. This is Esther taking you in this show. This show is called Fashion and Trend. Okay. I'm Esther taking you in this show, Fashion and Trend. Through this show, we need to get informed about what is happening in the world with fashion and trend. Most of you people do not know what fashion is or you think fashion is just putting on. We all, we all have to basically know the attire, the makeup, what you're supposed to be doing with fashion as long as you, the place you're going to can, can accommodate that. First of all, you cannot go to an office putting on pants. So we have to see what you're supposed to be putting on when you're going to an office. Um, um, thank you very much. Let me see someone who says I can do a fashion show. Behind you. Okay. Uh, j just come here. Let's first have her version. No. Just do your thing. Fashion show. Uh, good evening, my beautiful people. This is Gladys in the room. And Let's check well, if our microphone is on. Yes. Gladys Ever. Yes, and welcome. So today in our fashion trend, we're going to look at very many things. Starting from shoes and clothes and hair, you know, nails, a lot. 
And you know, fashion involves a lot. So you need to watch out and learn. So we shall start from um, the body. What is your body shape? How is your body made up? You know, if you to put on something, let's say pants or a dress, or you know, something of the sort, you need to first look at your body. How is it made? Are you round? Are you slim and slender? You know, there are very many basics that you need to look out before you do something. And uh, going to uh, makeup, you need to look at your skin color. The skin tone matters a lot. You know, if you're dark, you wouldn't go for something that is pink. You look like bullshit. You know, you need to look at very many things before you do something. So we are going for a short break and we shall be back. Don't move. Gladys, I think you have just come in, all right? I want you to get girls. The girl. girls. <laughs> eh? And you discuss fashion. Eh? Get Jenny. Get patience. Uh, you, you come, you come, you come. Yeah. And uh, we need, and I think her as well. The three of them. Eh? You're now four. Yes, the girls. Come, come with a seat. Come with a seat. I want you to discuss shows. Uh, I mean, I want you to discuss fashion eh? and some other girl stuff. Eh? And you're the moderator, right? Okay. Let me see how that comes out. And, um, and as we do that, perhaps let's get let's not it be random. Let's get a topic. For example, maybe let's answer a question of how do I put on maybe to do something? Eh? Like get, w of course, from you. Okay, let it be like topic based. Yeah. Okay. Hi, uh, good evening, uh, viewers. Uh, you're welcome to the show. This is Gladys Feather Yoga once again. And we have uh, our ladies. They are charming. Can't you see them? <laughs> welcome, ladies. Thank you. Yeah, so today we are looking at fashion and very many trends in fashion. How we have to dress up, how, you know, girl stuff. So you got to, la to watch and learn. Uh, we shall begin with a beautiful lady here. How are you? I'm okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, so tell me something. When you're going to dress up, what do you consider? I first of all, I believe I'm beautiful, so I always want to bring my color out. I consider the colors that are going to prevail my beautiful chiga version. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So you had that. Are our viewers, in case there is a girl out there and you want to look good in uh, in public, you had something skin complexion. How is your skin? Are you light? Are you dark? Which shades should you put on? You know, stuff like that. So, watch and learn. Thanks for that. Ah, we shall go to her. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm okay. Mm. All right, so for you, it will be about shoes. Shoes. Um, when you're going to go for shopping, for shoes, what do you consider? Do you shop for parties, uh, for a home, or normal walking? Okay, before you do shopping, you have to first know what you're doing. Okay, why you're doing it? If you're shopping for a party, shop shoes for a party. If you're shopping shoes to be put on at home, then do that. And then there is this, this thing of you cannot power tea out of an empty cup. Are you comfortable with your shoes first? If you're comfortable, then you're good to go because others will see the confidence in you. Are you confident in the shoes you're putting on? If you are, then you're good to go. Oh, I like that. It is good. Uh, so we are looking at confidence here. Yeah? Confidence uh, in terms of dressing. How does the public look at you? You might put, put on something. You like it, but the public looks at a different version of that. Because you want a high heel, but you don't want to walk with it. You're going to reach somewhere and you fall. So, guys. Fashion involves a lot. You might love something, but you find out that you're not supposed to do that. So you have to be in your circle, basically. So thanks for that. I hope you guys are learning something. Uh, so let's get to her. Oh, 
Hi, darling. I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. Welcome for the show. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. You might have walked a very long distance to come. It's just here from town. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so today we are looking at fashion, ladies' fashion, basically. What is fashion to you? Uh, fashion to me, I based on makeup, I based on the event, the event, especially when I'm going to the party, to the office, to class, as long as I know the place I'm going to. That is my passion. Mm. From head to the foot. Great. So fashion basically is something. It is, uh, it is the general thing from the head to the toe. That is fashion. The hair you have put on, the t-shirt, the pants, the whatever. Just name it. So we just need to understand a lot about this. You know, guys do not know fashion. But we should learn. Go to tutorials. Look for them. See what you're supposed to do. Look at your body. Don't put on something just because someone has put it on. Maybe it looks nice on them, but it may not be good for you. Look at your color. Don't copy someone. Just do your thing, and it will be good. You know, the public will appreciate you for that. So till next time, it's your girl Gladys. Uh, follow us on um, YouTube. You can follow us, like our page, our Facebook, Twitter handles, and you'll get all the trends that you need in fashion. Otherwise, I sign out. Thank you so much, Gladys. Stay there. Um, uh, um, you're supposed to be coming in for your, for your party, eh? but I guess we have to do it once and for all. I'm going to request for two things from you. One, do a relationship kind of show with your ladies, and another one is going to be celebrity kind of show with your ladies, or or what you call entertainment show, and you still have your ladies. Where you want to, whether you want to engage them or not, it's about you. If you don't want them, it's also okay. Okay. Starting with relationship. Or, okay, it could be relationship or marriage issues or what, lifestyle, in other words. Then, after that, you do entertainment. Okay. Go. Um, I Welcome back to our page. This is your girl that is there in the room. Uh, today, we are looking at relationships. This is something that is big. It might look small, but it is big. So with me, there are these three pretty ladies, and uh, they'll be giving their views about what they think. Or uh, maybe they could want to introduce themselves to you, uh, starting with her. Uh, hello, viewers. Welcome to ATV. I'm Jenny, and I'm a presenter. Thank you so much. This is Patience, and I'll be part of this program. Thank you. Hello, this is Esther. I'm also part of this. You're welcome, ladies. Uh, so today in our relationship, uh, which kind of man would you want to date? The quality, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is an interesting question. The man I would like to date. I think I need to feel something. I meet a man and I feel something. That has triggered me. That is the guy I want to date. So the feeling. Yeah, the feeling. It uh -huh. has to be the feeling, and then how cool he is. Is he smart? Is he smart, intelligent? Is someone who, you know, make me vibe with him intelligently, and then, okay, someone who I would think with. Yeah. That is interesting. <laughs> so you basically mind about the appearance and the thinking. Mainly. Well, not that. Well, not the appearance. Um, yeah, he has to look good, but if you look good with the brain, we're good to go. Okay. Mm so what if there is this short guy and he gives you everything, but he's short and he doesn't look so good? How do you go about that? Is that something? Am I feeling something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. I get it. So to her. Um, you're in a relationship, you love this person. But it comes to one evening, you're coming back home and you find him cheating. What would be your reaction immediately? Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, before I react, I have to know why he's cheating. Whether I'm the reason or his son is not comfortable with me. You get 
there is a time when someone is cheating on you basically because you, you, you're forcing him to do that. You're not there for him. You don't do what he wants. Or there is that feeling you're giving him so that he can move on and cheat on you. So first think about what forced him to do that. If you're out of the problem, okay, if you find you're not the reason, then I think I have to move on because if someone gets that feeling of cheating on you, if it stops, okay, if it starts, it can't stop. Okay, ah. yes, I let go. You let go? Yeah. No, wait. You've come and he's cheating. What would you do in that exact minute? Would you just run away? Or would you shout at him? What? Okay. This is an emotional state you're in. I think I can cry, <laughs> yes, but <laughs> anyway, you have to let things go later on. Okay, you cry before you. <laughs> okay, um, so you're good? I'm okay. Uh, yeah, we are talking about relationships here. So, what is the type of ideal man to you? To me, that man should be gentle. I don't consider anything else but gentleness and passion for something, unless I feel something for you. Gentleness. Are you yeah. gentle? You as a person. I can as well not be gentle by looks or what, but if I see you and have something for you, I can as well go for you. Mm. Okay. So, what if you are told by a friend that your, your person is cheating on you? What would you do? Would you believe them or? I cannot consider my friend in my relationship first. Ah. Yeah, I first take my own steps to see what is the problem. So that drives to trust. Yeah, yeah actually, you're right. Uh, in relationships, trust is very important. It is crucial. Very much. There I cannot no trust a friend, neither can I trust him. No, yeah. we are talking about trust. No, but if you love someone, you should be able to then when a friend comes and tells you, I saw him cheating. Then you don't believe her because <laughs> you trust your guy. Are we loving this? This is already a show. It's already a show. Can we have a show of these three people running every day or every week? Yes. Who, who, who watched East Africa's Got Talent? There are those things they were pressing when someone is good, eh? Wish we, eh? Wish we had it, eh? I would do this for her and maybe Wesley. Like I'm being honest, eh? Uh, well, I think you're... <laughs> uh, in, in, that, in that one, I will be a Gaetano, I think, really. <laughs> it should be a hard one to come. Let's first see the entertainment version, okay? Ladies, burn us. Yeah, yeah, yes. I will come back to the show still. It's your girl, Heather. And yes, we are still four, like usual. So today it is about entertainment, not fashion, no, nothing. Entertainment. What do you understand by the word entertainment? I think entertainment is something that will make me run away from true life and come back to something that will make me happy. Yeah, to me, that is entertainment. Like dancing and being crazy. I don't know the moment. Yeah, that's okay. I see. Um, so we are on you now. <laughs> uh, we are talking about entertainment. What would you do if you are a celebrity? You know, when you are a celebrity, there are these people that follow you up, the stalkers. How would you handle a stalker? Um. If I'm a celebrity, no. I am a celebrity. Yes. <laughs> okay. Those people have to be there because they teach us how to be strong, how to face the, those, those, those problems. But to me, those people are there for me to learn. You get, if they see something that is true anyway, maybe they are talking about something, but it's true, then it is now up to me to, they call that maybe acting towards the feedback from the public. 
if they tell you patients to walk like this and maybe there is a problem then work upon that and if it is not true anyway stay in your position do what is right because now if you attack them you give those okay you show those people who are still trusting you that you cannot be trusted anyway so you still have to be in the right place whether those people are there or not because if you are a celebrity that's what you're supposed to expect from the public there are those people who like you there are those who not like you don't know why they don't like you anyway because maybe you're a competitor some might be jealous <laughs> uh, so we're talking about stalkers stalkers uh, you have a fan he really likes you a lot and he starts sending you those love messages how would you handle this is someone that should be there he's a fan he needs to support you and you need him around but then you're feeling uncomfortable because of whatever is taking place how would you handle such a situation mm, let's start from when you're not a celebrity even if you're a celebrity or not you still have those people who send you messages get it so it you you cannot abuse them you cannot maybe shout at them but maybe be genuine with them but in a humble manner don't just say see i don't like you or what no give them the exact information they need to get if they need to know you maybe might be interested in them like a fan but not the relationship thing so be true to them tell them you, you're my fun i like you yes thank you but Um, um, you had fashion. What else can you do? Huh? You had fashion. What else can you do? I can try news. I can try. You can try news. Are you able to try now? Or you may need yes. Oh, you may need some time. Not right now, maybe after her. Ah, okay. It's okay. So let's have Gladys. Uh, you said you could do news. Let's try it and see. The microphone. Congratulations to her. Our Jessa has yet signed a new ambassador, that is Shiba Karunji. And yeah, that is so good for our Uganda. Uh, well, it has been so absurd in Jinja. Today morning, our villagers found a dead body. And it is so absurd because they do not know who did this. So I'll come with the news in detail. Our, uh, Grief and grief the people of Jinja this morning when they found a dead body in the house and the husband had run away. The police are trying to do the research to find out what had happened and what caused all the havoc. So our, our researcher will give us the news in detail. 
In other news, our own celebrity Spice Diana hit 100 million viewers on Instagram. That is big. She has done a lot. She has really tried. And yeah, so I think you would want to see her talk about this. We shall go for a short break and then we shall come back. Don't move. Wow. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Appears to be more like a review. Um, I do not know if you have a comment. Well, according to me, what matters now is the confidence. I think she can. Even though it, it appears to be a review or what, but to me, I guess the confidence is there and she can read the news. Now, uh, getting into opinions, first help me with the microphone. Someone can push this microphone to Fahad. I want to see his comment. Thank you. I'm um, sorry to dive into this, but I have an idea. Esther had uh, came in with the concept of fashion trends, which we can maybe later on come to as fashion and lifestyle. Then this, led, this uh, other lady came in, perfected it, but again, did better relationship. But now, since we want content, why can't we let Esther perfect fashion trends, and then this one does... Uh, topic about relationship or maybe we can call it relationship and lifestyles something of s sort of that okay well we will be coming to this trust me that is a, a very very honest uh, opinion and um, we take it in, 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 in good faith um, I don't know if uh, this should be the right time to have opinions but we will get back now to the road uh, of, uh, you know, the search for Western Uganda's next big presenter. Thank you very much, Gladys. Beyond, beyond presentation, what can you do? Repeat that. Costume designer. We come back to fashion and design or something like that. Okay. Um, Maybe I think you have not introduced yourself. Probably might not know anything about you yet. Can you tell us about yourself? Uh, my real name Gladys Ivory. I'm an actress and uh, I'm at campus. Which university? And which course? International University. And which course? IT. Oh, okay. Uh, like, like main campus? Okay. So, that is Gladys for you. Please drop that comment for I mean about her, and we will be considering uh, what you have to say. We had Esther saying she needed some time to prepare a version of news. I don't know if she's ready, but if she's not yet ready, we could have uh, who is next. Okay. I think in the interest of time, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be having feedback for you. Now, um, yeah, who is next? Okay, we have Ashabahewa Abduswabul. We have him around. He left? Ah, okay. We can have uh, someone else. Let's have Bran. Bamuina Bran. We have him around? Then uh, Sasha Felix. Okay. Felix, take over. Yes. Ndugu Felix Nasasida. On your TV is Nasasla Felix. Um Nasasla Felix doing bachelor's of Education at this Bishop University. You're a teacher. Okay. First, greet this person viewing us. Say hi. Hey, viewers. Um, Nasas La Felix, New TV. Can help me get to this. 
Well, Felix says he needs two guys. The show is called Youth Vibe. Uh, we are glad to have just two guys for him. And please let's, let it be like chap chap. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's join him. The show is about is uh, is about it is called Youth Vibe. But today we are looking at uh, the role of youth in the community. We are looking at the role of youth in the community. Now I have two, two guys here. Uh, I'm Aizan and uh, I'm MC Jose. Thank you guys, Ivan and Ebion. Now I'm here on your TV. And uh, MC Jose. Now I, I want to know, I want to see whether you know the role of the youth in the community you use. As me, I can say the role, the role of the youth in the community is help the elder and believe in themselves so that they can develop the community. Yeah. That's how I can say the youth should believe in themselves so that they can help others or help other people in the community to develop themselves. That's how it's. What about you say the role of the youth? Uh, well, the role of the youth, it's not one, it's not two, but the, the youth are seen as the future leaders of the community. So basically, th th their role cannot be undermined. Their role mainly is to build up themselves, to inspire others, to get on board, and do developmental things that can put them up there where they want. So the role of the youth is basically a very big topic, but to break it down, the, the role of the youth is to develop the community because the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, uh, I have two guys in here with me on your TV, ATV. Uh, thank you viewers for your time. Uh, I'm Nasasla Felix on your TV. I think uh, for today, let us end, here, end from here, and I think uh, we meet an, any other time. You can follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, ATV. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you very much, Felix. Uh, Youth Vibe, what else can you do? I can do WhatsApp show in evening. Like, so, so. WhatsApp? Yeah, show. It is also related by... Like, no, no, I mean beyond presentation. What else can you do on TV or something in media? I can read the news. You can read news. Radio or TV? Both radio and TV. Okay, thank you very much. We'll be having feedback and I'm requesting uh, our kind viewer to drop that comment. What do you have to say about Felix? Uh, is he the next big presenter from Western region? We will be getting that comment and considering it. Thank you very much. Let's have the next on the floor. I don't know if Esther is ready yet. Not yet. Okay, let's go next. Yeah, let's try it out. Esther Chap Chap. One minute. Okay, let's go. Uh, good afternoon, my esteemed viewers. 21 minutes past 3 p.m. And the news is read you by Esther Chomgasho. Mbara University students go on a demonstration. Bushani district is hit by jiggers. A landslide hits Buweju district. And in a and in another news, President John Pembe Magufuri is suspected to be with COVID-19. These are the news in details. In Mbara University of Science and Technology, students have gone on a demonstration over online graduation and online studies. These have further gone for some good days, students without attending classes and the lecturers have failed to, uh, to attend classes too 
because of failure to get payments. The students have therefore today morning gone on, the, on a demonstration which has caused loss of some equipment and requirements. Bushain district is hit by jiggers. In a village called Chamhunga, Bushain people have been hit by jiggers. Those people no longer walk. Their legs are swollen due to poor hygiene and sanitation. A landslide in Bush district has hit and has left 10 people dead and other people are missing. The, lands, the heavy rains that hit last night have left the 10 people dead and the other people are missing, leading to destruction of plantations, homesteads, and other stuff, for example, cows. In other news, President John Pembe Magfuri has been suspected President John Pembe Magfuri has been suspected to be with COVID-19 which has led him to be in a self-quarantine. Those were the news. Stay tuned. Oh, thank you very much. We pray that Magufuli is not dead. Otherwise, it is going to be really bad on the continent. But um, yeah, thank you very much, Esther. Do we have uh, someone who has not auditioned yet? I came and I haven't done yet. And I registered. We have any? Ah. Okay. Do we have someone who thinks I think I should uh, audition? Anyone willing to audition? You, what I do you want you to have do? Already. Yeah, but you had, you had already. You have already. You did already, right? I, I, I am looking for people who haven't. Want someone who is willing to try. It could be Henry, it could be Patience, it could be Jenny. Those ones who haven't tried. It could be a, eh? As Hussein. Hussein, you want to? You want to try? Yeah. Let's give him. Why not? Why not? <laughs> you might think you're only good at camera. Maybe you have something else. You're not yet on TV. Yeah. Now you're there. Because <laughs> I have to present myself to the people or something. <laughs> okay, anyway. It's about yourself and, and continue. Um, Hussein, I'm really good with the camera, as you can see. Then I'm, I'm a photographer, I'm a graphics designer, I'm a student at MAST, software engineering, year two. And uh, if I was to host a show, I would do something with fashion. I can do that. I can do something with entertainment. I can, uh, on a rare occasion, do the news. On a rare occasion. Okay, do, do those two. Mm. Mm. My number one would be covering events. Like, in an entertainment way? Or? Yeah, entertainment way. We have like, uh, let's say, the weekend, uh, the weekend live band at Akashia. Mm. I would do that. I would cover it if it's possible. If, uh, it, if the TV wants to record it. If there was a big event in town, maybe there is an artist coming up and you need coverage of that, I would do that. Okay, um, go. Let's 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 let's. Uh, we have a celebrity around. We have a manager who came along with uh, their artist uh, Ndugu Fahad. Yes. We are live at Club Vegas. We had a show with this artist. Please, let's have how Hussein would burn us. Okay. Okay. You're presenting to you live from a TV. It's Hussein, your boy, and we'll have. Fahad, today. Fahad, can you please join us on camera? We would like to interview you today. Oh, just check out. Check out. Check out. I mean, come on. Check the shoes. Check the shoes. <laughs> check him out. Fahad, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How oh, are you? You can take a seat. All right. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yes. Backstage. Yeah, backstage. Okay. But backstage, I can play in city. Anyway. We are, we are backstage. So we're backstage with you turn Fahad. Fahad, Fahad, how was the show? The show was fine. My artist did uh, give a splendid performance and uh, I'm so excited. Oh, so I believe you do manage Murunji. Is, is there anything you can tell us about Murunji? Because we really like her music. Murunji you know? is uh, a young girl of 10. She joined music just last year. Mm. And uh, she's doing fine. She's among the trending artists that we have currently in the West. So we would love to talk about Murunji, but before we go to Murunji, we want to talk about you. Yeah, you all want to listen. What's a, uh, what about Fahad? What's Fahad? Fahad is the manager, but let him explain more about what he does and everything about him. I've uh, lived the life of music and entertainment from a record producer, the video director, and now a manager. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I will... I love the shoes, so I wanted to ask, who's your designer? <laughs> uh, can you just present an entertainment show in the studio? Okay, do, 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 I will see. Yes, hello dear viewers, this is Hussein, your boy, and we're having uh, our entertainment show as usual, weekly. It's, it's my time, it's my time, watch me. <laughs> So, today we're talking about music, we're talking all music, we're talking about the best, the finest, the greatest songs that are being produced in Uganda right now. We'll start with Western Uganda, obviously, we like Western Uganda. Hmm. So, which artists can I really talk about in, you, in Western Uganda? Well, there's Reiji, yeah, you could talk about that, but he's been there for some time. We have, we have a lot of artists in Bara, but there is this one kid, eh? she's called Murunji. Huh? That kid has music. Well, the DJ can play one of her songs and then we can go on to telling her, talking about her music and her talent. <laughs> oh, welcome that from that banger. Oh, I think you liked it. And if you didn't like it, tell me. Share with me. Go to that comment section and press that comment. Okay. Fashion. Can do fashion as well? Yeah, I can do fashion. Okay. Do. Uh, hello, it's your boy Hussein, and today I'm here to talk about fashion. We're talking about glamour, we're talking about class, we're talking about looking good. Yeah? You know, the things that you believe women can't do. Yeah, even men do deserve to be in the fashion world somewhere out there. That's why we have male models, that's where we have fashion designers for male models and all the males that are out there. So if you are interested in fashion, this is your show. I think that's fine. Uh, we can... Uh, yes. You have supporters already? <laughs> okay, that's okay. I think there is not so much I can comment. You can go back to your camera. Thank you. Do I introduce myself? Okay, yeah. Um, Isafu Natuzuka, a computer scientist at Must. So, of course, we really need God. And now, we need to have this show. Let's say every Sunday morning, we have, we have to have church. So, uh, welcome good morning to this very good Sunday. Uh, today we'll be blessed, we shall be visited by Bishop Nathan of Western Quarry <laughs> Diocese. He's right here with us. And we shall, we shall have him for at least 30 minutes. And later along, as we are ending the show, we shall have this famous artist. And he will be taking us and 
telling us some success stories along as we are having some peaceful music to drive you to church. Thank you. Hope you will enjoy the show. I'm telling you. Hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. I wish you told us one verse in the Bible. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, Jenny, please. We saw you in an interview. Let's, let's have some feel from you. What shall you do? Talk to what? Okay, let's go. Let's use the microphone. I need a gentleman. Ronald. Ah. Yes. You talked about feeling. I don't know if uh, that was part of the formula. But whatever it is, we are. Uh, yeah, Good evening, dear viewers. Jennifer, just see me again on AETV. If you like my makeup, you know the girl to call, call 070 And welcome back to The Remedy. And today, we have a very interesting guest and a very interesting topic. So you know our remedy, we always bring to you solutions. The remedy means solutions. So today, uh, let us have our guest introduce himself. My name is... Uh, good afternoon, how are you? You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, we have a story. This lady um, has been sick and pregnant, and she's concerned. Apparently, she doesn't want to show to for us to talk about her identity, but she's pregnant and sick, and the husband doesn't seem to care about it. So she wants you are a man, you're married, and you have kids. So you are the best person that can talk to this lady. Is she? Is her concern right? Is it a big issue to worry about? She's sick yes. and she doesn't want. She's, ma she's pregnant and the husband doesn't seem to care like, about it. Oh, that's very dangerous. And I think, yeah, some of these issues are really happening in our families. And uh, as a counselor, I guess you're calling me because I'm a counselor. Because yes. you're married, but let's <laughs> go with that. Because being married probably is not enough. But uh, yes, I'm going to address myself as a counselor. As a counselor, we have faced such challenges where uh, a woman gets issues, but then the man does not care. But I would, uh, first of all, want to, pay, uh, to appear to that lady. <laughs> no, I okay. don't even know what to say, but you proceed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much. But... Uh, what would you say to the men out there that are probably not treating their wives well? Is a man's... Okay, if you had a wife and she's pregnant, do you think it's your responsibility to it's, take care it's, of her? It's my responsibility to take care of her. First of all, I'm the one who pregnant her. So I have to take care of pregnancy as well. So do you think the other man is being careless? But um, if, of course, if the woman is not beautiful, then I will not take care of her. Then why did you marry the woman? I mean, it was a mistake. I didn't know I would, would end up there. But yes, I, if I don't like her, if she's not beautiful, I will not care. Well, let's go. Please, let's have a short commercial break and we'll be back. <laughs> no, 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 the show is about what? different problems uh, if you want to show your identity you can come on show on the show but if you don't want people to know you you can still send a message or call me tell me your problem and we can talk about it we'll be hosting different experienced people who so can it's called the remedy the remedy so the, so the, the show is giving people solutions yeah so not the problem. one you gave but yeah not the one I gave I don't think you have then how will you control such answers anyway because they will keep coming but by the time I host you, you have experience. And I'm sure if I called you as you, not as the stubborn you, you would give us the right I answer. I am stubborn, yes? Yeah? <laughs> you would give the right answer. Yes. You're done? Yeah. Then the news version of it, the news. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a very
very good afternoon, Jennifer Chasime on AETV. Let's get right to the headline. Welcome back. And in today's news, we are seeing university students of Mara University not attending classes and yet having a strike due to the episode of being of, you know, of lecturers striking since the beginning of this month. <laughs> and in other news we are seeing a tv that has been hitting as the newest western tv going live every day visiting different uh yeah like that like that <laughs> Thank you very much. That is Jenny for you. Uh, we are just running out of time. We cannot stop thanking uh, you who has been viewing us uh, from uh, minute one. Do you think we have enough time to give a chance to someone who thinks they have something else they can do or other show? Maybe like if one I or two. We can try two people. Uh, those ones probably who auditioned and they think what they presented is not what they can do as the only thing they can do. Maybe if there's anyone who has a version, uh, something else they can offer, maybe you can give them a chance. So someone thinks I did my auditions, but perhaps with the wrong show. I'm using wrong in quotes. Or you want to try something else. We didn't have someone doing agriculture, for example. We had someone doing health. Who was it? Ah, she left, yes. Ooh. Um, okay. So, we seem not to have someone. Well, if that is the case, then I think we will be... Okay, you're raising your hand? Yeah. Okay, let's have you. Um, she, was the very, the, she was the very first uh, person to uh, do the auditions. Perhaps if you came in later to view, you, quite, you, you could have missed her. And I think this is the chance. Last time you did what? Okay, let's go. Last time I did a talk show, like an interview. Yeah. And you're now going to do? News. Pretty. Okay, let's go. It's exactly 12 noon. This is a Yeet TV welcome once again. Isabella Kanchabe and the newscasting starts now. The president of the new party, uh, Robert Chaglani, uh, I beg your pardon. Can I? Okay. Um, for a moment and then 
exactly 12 p.m. Welcome back to AE TV. This is Isabella Conchave reading to you to the news. And let's first get to the news headlines. NRM releases over shillings 24 billion for door-to-door -door campaigns. The National Resistance Movement, NRM Secretariat, is to release over shillings 24 billion this week for the country countrywide door-to-door -door campaign ahead of the 2021 general election. Let's have, let's have Sentamu on this report. In other news, the, the University of Mara, Mara University of Science Technology, is striking over delayed lectures and, and failure of the lecturers to come to class. The students are complaining about the delayed lectures and are complaining that other functional fees are not being put in use and hence are requesting the government to act upon this such that the lectures can be put back in place. Let's have Jemima to give us a report on this. Okay, uh, thank you very much. We already see uh, the floor, where you're going, I think. Of course, with this, we would do more on radio, but we believe that uh, perhaps if you had revised these stories, maybe it would be uh, a different story. But at least that's the rhyme. Now, thank you very much. You could have your seats. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, the viewer, and uh, thank you, those who took part within these auditions. We are still saying this is not ending now. If you still think that you can be the next big uh, Western Uganda's uh, best online TV or radio presenter, we can still have a platform for you. Now, um, I do not know what you make of this, but uh, maybe to remind the participants, we were being judged on different occasions, different areas. On our scorecard or score sheet, we have confidence as number one. We have passion. Trust me, we noticed people who have passion for this. Yeah? It would be very well noticed. Uh, we had charisma, like I told you. Really, depending on the mode of the show you, uh, you are bringing on board, we were looking at that uh, charisma, I mean, uh, like the, how you're bringing it out, if you're rhyming with what the show is supposed to be uh, giving. Uh, authenticity, you being yourself and not copying anyone, um, or language of forcing yourself into... Or any kind of copying, any kind of forcing yourself into something. Uh, uh, understanding the audience, that's why we're asking you about the shows you are working on, uh, what or what you're bringing, and the audience. How are you connecting? Most of us didn't focus in the camera, but focus on, you know, the judges and, I mean, people who are here, uh, forgetting that beyond the cameras, there are a big number of people, you know, watching. Uh, were you relaxed and calm? We were looking at, at that. If you are on pressure, trust me, that affected you in one way or another. Because it is easy to notice, yeah, if someone is not calm. Uh, audibility and generally good, you know, communication skills, then the English. This will be English broadcasting. English uh, accent was also key. Then you saying words and we're able to know yes he's talk she's talking about confidentiality and then it comes out clearly that was uh then the flow i mean really you're you're flowing yes um then coming back to another si uh, another aspect if we talk to you in return and then we give you a chance to resp i mean like redo that and then perhaps you repeated the same. It is also affecting us because we were looking at your listenability. Are you able to listen and, you know, 
blend in uh, what, what you're being uh, uh, told. Some of us, the, the cameraman wa would try to make a sign for us and then we stop. I mean, we first like pause, yeah? I'm imagining if Kana and Mugume did that, <laughs> you, would, uh, you would laugh the whole day, right? Yeah, so that communication skill. Uh, multitasking beyond presentation, we are also looking at that. Then creativity, if you're able, you saw us challenging a few people here, now do this, now do that, now, do, now this, then immediately some would quickly blend into what you tell them to do, and then some, it would actually take time to uh, come through. But uh, all those, each one was uh, 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 at, uh, I mean, ranked at 10. I ordered at 10. So we will finally compute this, and we will have uh, uh, people who are proceeding to the next stage. Okay? Yeah? We are not sounding rude, right? Yeah. Media is something you fight for, but the beauty is it is something you can learn. It's something you can practice and at the end of the day you, you make it. And trust me we will be there for each one and uh, everyone that is in here. At least we could learn together. Because there's beyond there's camera, there's production uh, editorial presentation, all that. So uh, I will, I think, allow in Dugroni uh, if you have any comment, and maybe Gloria if you have any comment quickly, then we have a final remark. But what we are sure of, uh, the names of people who are proceeding to the next stage are not coming out tonight. At least we'll be informing those that are through to the next stage. Yes, Roni. Yes, thank you so much, uh, my colleague. Uh, I do not have so much to say. A lot has been shared. But all I can say, the purpose of this was to test our A-game, to see what else we can do beyond our disciplines. Most of us are students doing computing, whatever courses you're doing. But there is more to life than just what? Computing. And most of you, you could have seen it. We probably might be knowing Wesley as a software developer, but beyond being a software developer, there is something else Wesley can do. And now he has exhibited that skill. If you're looking for that person to host your event as maybe MC, as you realize you could have Wesley as well on your function. So that is what we are looking out for. And uh, yeah. I personally thank you so much, guys, for coming and for attending this. At least in one way or another, it has been helpful on your side. You could have discovered something else you can do beyond what people know you for, and which is very, very, very key. So I will encourage you. I do not know what will come out of this, but with what, whichever comes out, it's still about you. It's the passion that you have that can take you where you want to be. If an opportunity cannot come from a it media, let it come from somewhere else because at least this could have given you a chance to, dis to rediscover yourself. So don't mind about what comes out of this. Like Sankara said, media is about you, you as an individual. It's about you, how best you're going to conduct yourself. That is what matters most. Otherwise, thank you so much. I wait to see you again for those who will continue in this journey. All the best, guys. Yeah, thank you very much, Ronnie. I think uh, as we conclude this, uh, a quick one on how we are going to proceed. So, on, uh, I think, yeah? Uh, oh, yes, yes. So, on Thursday is when we will contact uh, people that are you know, beyond uh, th this stage, because the next week, which we are beginning tomorrow, is a week we are using to compile the list of shows we are beginning with, okay? So we'll receive that, and when we receive that, uh, we will be subjected to at least a one-week training. We will call people that are already there, yeah? I heard you talk about Abu's, you talk about all those presenters you talked about you could pick a few 
and we will be having at least once in a while some sessions with them once in a while before we go on air yeah then um uh, mostly we might first of course start with uh i think a number that is relative but if you have the idea and you believe in it you don't have to stop at that because presentation is funny today you could have like appeared on we will be having presenting it already but at least also someone he is teaching okay i don't know if you're getting me if you for example get an entertainment show to run on friday evening there is going to be that person presenting it but we must make sure there is also another one in his footsteps learning because like i told you this platform comes with a lot we could run in a month and nbs takes you yeah we should be able to be sure that the one you've been training is coming your ways or you who have been being i mean who have been uh, you know being trained you're the one to take it on next yeah Maybe uh, uh, to remind us, we are targeting uh, 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 young people, especially university students, and the class that perhaps just. Program is tailored for that audience. So we still have a chance to go rethink. Then, as that one week we will have to one week. We say they are open. Yeah, I will allow. Yeah, have your comment. Then we call it a night. Okay. Thank you, Sankara. Thank you, everyone that has attended. Thank you, everyone that has auditioned. Um, Gloria Nasasira, I work at eight in the finance department as its head. Mm, I've seen a lot of talent here. You guys have talent. And you never know what comes out of this, even if eight calls you for to work at eight TV or radio, even if it doesn't call you, you should continue with your passion. You never know who is going to watch this. You never know who is there watching. You could be taken. You could be the next Kanare Mugume. You could be the next Shira and Huchire. So you never know. So you guys should continue the passion. All of you are good. And I thank you so much. Hey, yeah, thank you very much. much. We have someone who manages a talent. I would wish to have uh, his comment. Quick one. We could... Uh, yeah, I have uh, Fahad give one. He's into digital marketing, and this is the thing we're entering to, so we cannot avoid his comment. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, other than managing talent, I was once a promoter, an artist. Then later on, I jumped into management. I do branding. I'm a brands manager. I'm an IT guy. Very many things, but I usually... In, in, tend to introduce myself differently depending on the audience I'm addressing. Now, uh, all I can say is the fact that all of you guys you are good. I won't, I won't say there was someone bad. You all have the ideas, and I'm so sure you can get the content, but maybe the issue is about um, you guys perfecting what you do, and maybe you get the concept of the programs you're about to do. Now, like the other lady, that one, I don't know her name, yes. She had an idea of her tips, but then uh, she brought it in in a wrong concept, for example, saying uh, bringing her tips in a lunchtime program, you see, it won't work, but it's a nice idea. So it's just about knowing uh, the concept. It's a nice idea, but then coming in at the wrong time. 
then to the people who will be host, hosting shows, the ho show hosts, I do not expect you to be asking questions like, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Those questions are honestly have phased out. And then things like, you're hosting someone known around town and you'd be like, talk about yourself. You're hosting Shiba and you'd be like, talk about yourself. The audience already knows about Shiba. Maybe all you have to do is go and research about Shiba, know everything about Shiba. So the question should be like, for example, if I'm hosting Sankara, you can put, a, put on board the question like, hey, a certain artist might be like, you dropped a certain song on this very date. What does that song talk about? But not uh, a question like, how many songs do you have? Uh, what's your uh, latest song? Those, those kind of questions. So the show hosts uh, need to get the concept of asking questions. And then for us, honestly, we shall be on board to advise where need arises much as we are not perfect as well. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, trust me. Uh, you cannot move around wanting to know about digital marketing and you're going to miss that or promotion or media or something. What we want to be, at least has taken a simple step to get there. But uh, I would uh, once again also thank you very much for honoring this. And please, let's move uh, the, I mean the, the journey together. We have a database of uh, all our contacts and it's not by mistake because we are sure we are going to move together. We cannot think about uh, 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 elsewhere uh, because now you become one of our own. Yeah, uh, an important reminder that uh, we could all subscribe to the YouTube channel and also follow on our Facebook pages, we have the Yeet TV, we have the Yeet Radio. If you, if you search, you will be able to see them. Then um, media also has a component of um, marketing. It is, it is more important also. If you know the skill, you have a skill in that, you could also do the same. Uh, and marketing is, is broad. You could say, I want to move to maybe GBK, for example, and approach them with this idea, but I want them to be featuring on a hit TV uh, in terms of adverts, then promotions and all that. Then, uh, like I told you, we are promoting our primary role and reason why we brought this is to run virtual events because I told you coronavirus at least opened doors for that. So many people are doing virtual events. So whenever you meet that virtual event, you can run to inbox. Because guess what? If we go and cover that event, you have a percentage that we give you from, from, from that uh, money they, they, they pay to us. Okay? So there is also the side of marketing. You could also explore that. Now let's wait on Thursday. You will be receiving a feedback uh, from today's I want to thank uh, the, uh, people that were behind this, our producers, uh, Hussein Zodi. I don't know where he got the name from, but uh, <laughs> there's a song that features Zadi something, Zodi, what, Daddy? I don't know. Perhaps he is going to explain later. But um, also, Isofel is part of the production team. We had Henry around. We had Jenny coordinating this, a big team around and we can't wait to get on air. But till then, I think we call it a night. <laughs>